Search for the star winner. Jenny is with us this hour doing this gorgeous blast. But before I do that, I must tell you about the two Mothering Sunday So Specials I've got. These are two very, very, very special auctions. Halfway through the next hour, not this one, through the next hour. Got the launch of Britannia Sewing Machines, haven't we, in the next hour with Neil. You've not met Neil before. He's new. Uh, but look at this. You get a baker's dozen of fat quarters, especially cut for you. Aren't they lovely? I love a rainbow like that. Especially cut for you for this Mothering Sunday so special. That's coming up sometime during the 10 o'clock show. I can't say it'll be dead on half past because we don't know where the natural break will be, but it'll be half somewhere halfway round between the, the, the half past 10 mark, but around there. Aren't they lovely? So that's our half past 10. Then at the uh, beginning of the 11 o'clock hour, we've got, now I know you've all seen this before. This is the 13 inch notions rotating cutting mat. You're thinking, yeah, 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 we've seen that, seen that, John. We know that, we know that, we know that. But you know what? Like I said before, you can't have a rotating cutting mat without a rotary cutter. It's notions, obviously sewing quarter blues. Uh, and it comes with five spare, I think it's five spare blades. I'm saying five, five spare blades. And it's one of those, click, click, safety catch, everything. That's coming up at the top of the hour. And it's just, they're both special prices. They're both special prices for you. 11 o'clock, that's coming up. Right, have a look at this. Isn't this pretty, this little blouse? It's uh, like a tie neck blouse. I think they've called it a pussy, uh, pussy bow blouse, haven't they? Isn't it lovely? And that's new fabric as well, I seem to think. I seem to think that's brand new fabric as well. And if you don't like it in the red, I've got it in a couple of other colours. Beautiful. But it's all taken from this book. Now, we've not had this book before. This is a Dressmaking by Alison Smith. Now, Alison Smith, she's got a lovely shop. She's got a very, very posh shop. Uh, she's got nice hair as well, Alison. Um, it's a brilliant book. It's complete step-by-step -step guide. You might know she's done other books as well. Choose fabric, follow patterns, make classic garments, alter and customise. The complete step-by-step -step guide to dressmaking. Right? Uh, now, before we put the graphics in, I just want you to look at something. Oh, hang on. We'll just have a look at this. Oh, oh we're doing a live Zoom, are we? Uh, have a look at that, right? Have a look at that. Then, have a look at this. I oh, know. I oh, know. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Why are we doing that? We haven't had it before. It's not like, oh, let's have a sale. Let's have a. No. 1999, 1999. Now, before we get over to Jenny, I just want you to go through the book with you because what it is, it's one of the kind of book I love. It's first of all, it's full of techniques and things you need to know and all about your foot and your clapper and fabrics, things like that. Then what it is, is each section, it's all about patterns and altering patterns, things like that. When you get to each section, which I'll get to eventually, General techniques. This is a brilliant go-to book. Whether you're a starter or whether you, you might be a quilter who's thinking, oh, I'd like to try a bit of dressmaking, but don't know what to do. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant for doing that. But uh, these are pockets. Or, I'm still on techniques. Look, garments, right? What it is, is we have different sections. So we start off with skirts. And what it is, there's all these different styles of skirt. What it is, you start off with one pattern and then you can alter that pattern to make all the other skirts. And I love things like this, because it means you can create the look that you want to look. You're not following anybody else's, uh, anybody else's ideas. Then look, dresses. Simple dresses, simple dresses. You can make them into all of these, look. Well, the thing is, what you do is you make a basic one out of calico, which shape you really like wearing, and then you use that to alter, you know, do you know what I mean? It's such a fantastic book. And then, there's all the dresses here. Look. And then you've got your class, these are all, you're still on your dresses, you're still on your dresses, little wasted dress there. Um, long empire line dress, very good for your evening, for summers. Trousers, trousers, got everything in it. And then we've got, we've got blouses, look, look, oh, there you go. That's the one we've done. So what you do here, I mean, I'll, I'll let Jenny explain it all to you. There's your classic shell top. What you do is you start off, there you go. You start off with a, a, with a basic shape like that. And then they take you through how to alter that pattern to make that, or alter that pattern to make that, or alter that pattern to make that, or alter that pattern to make that. See how it's just brilliant. But then, if you then get on top of all of that, I mean, look at all the, the size of all those pictures. Hannah loves the fact the pictures are all big in this one. Um, and very clear, look. But then, if you go right to the end here, customising. So not only can you then make the, the one that you like, you can then customise it. Look. 
That's like the um, jewel skirt, isn't it? The um, a, a skirt, one where the one skirt's longer than the other. Look. So there's customising and everything. Going, and there's all your patterns. Now, you can either draw up the patterns like that on a scale, or now don't I don't know, PDF download thingy them. So you can just print them off. You can just print them off. There's a PDF address in there. I think that's what it's called. No, is it called a PDF address? Website. And you can download all the patterns. Oh no, all that for 19.99. Now I've got to get on, I've got to get on, I've got to get on because uh, Jenny's got loads to show you. What, what we do in these, oh, is it not how to? Uh, no, what we do in these how to shows is we, um, you sure? Yeah, okay, sorry, sorry. Um, on these how to shows, um, we don't show the whole thing, we show how to. So Jenny will have, uh, different parts of this blouse that she wants to show you how to make but I've got fabrics I have got fabrics to make this gorgeous blouse out of so let me start with the one that Jenny's used which is this premier red oh it's lovely oh isn't that nice there it is it's 100% polyester uh, uh, Georgette Georgette it's 150 do you say 150 wide 100% polyester, scarlet. Now, if you're new to dressmaking, um, you're going to be frightened of this. Please don't be frightened of it. Uh, um, Jenny will tell you more. Please don't be frightened of it. It, is a, it does move, this fabric, but please don't be frightened of it. 3.99 for half a metre. 3.99 for half a metre. Right, that's scarlet. Now, the one that Jenny's demonstrating in is this, which is like a gorgeous royal blue. Oh, I'll take that one off. Premier, Premier. Oh, look at that. Oh, that colour's beautiful. Do you know where's this colour? Don't you, Jane from Elna? Don't let them put you off, though. Royal blue, 100% polyester, Georgette. 3.99. Actually, we could, I wonder what size Jane is. No, she won't get into that. 3 99 I'll go through sizing with you in the book in a second. Right, I've got to get a move on because there's loads of fabrics here. Oh, love this colour. How beautiful. Would it be nice if they'd ironed it? Oh, sorry, it's not royal blue. There we go. Oh, look how beautiful that colour is. Oh, now, I'll have to ask about... Do, 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 do. Now, the pink one seems to be a little bit more diaphanous than the red. Uh, it's exactly the same, 100% Paul Georgette, but you might need to think about a camisole. You'd wear what underneath, Hannah? A vest. Hannah would wear a vest underneath it anyway. That's nice to know. 3.99 for half a metre. Now, isn't that funny? Because it's exactly the same fabric. Oh, no, I suppose it is as Daphne. It's just the, the, the colour in the blue and the red are bolder, I suppose, than the pink. Because it doesn't see through like this. Because I've held it up against the light, isn't it? Right, I've got to quickly, quickly, quickly. Look at these. These are nice. Now, I've never seen these before, but they have been on air once before. You might have missed them the same as I have. Oh, isn't that pretty? Love that print. Teal spotted scattered floral crepe fabric, 3 99 for half a metre. Love it. Oh, I love, I do love that one. And that also comes in, 100% polyester, oh, it doesn't say 150 wide. That one also comes in like this brick red colour as well. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, I don't know which one I like best, the teal or the red. This week at Sewing Quarter, we're bringing you industry leading experts. Oh, I think you might have just heard me shouting about something then. It wasn't me. Oh, that's one of the ones I've recorded this morning. Why is that there? 3.99, red spotted scattered, 100% polyester. 3.99 for half a metre. That. People love loving these florals. Be careful though, they've been on before. I don't know how much I've got of each of those. Oh, please be careful, please be careful, please be careful. Right, wait till you see the next two fabrics. I love these next two fabrics. These have got to be premieres. I've never seen these before. Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. How gorgeous is that blouse going to look in this? 100% polyester satin. Now, you see, I would use this if I was making a really posh coat or cape or something like that. I'd use this. It's better than lining. I'm not saying it's a lining fabric, but that's what I'd use it for. But you can make this blouse out of it. 2 99 for half a metre. 100% polyester. Doesn't look as wide, this one. Oh, is this 150? 150 wide. Right, that's the gold. That's the gold. Loads are coming in for that. 
silver. Now, the only thing I'd say about this one is if you're going to wear this one as a blouse, be careful because this can be quite draining, especially for those of us in, you know, more mature years. Hannah's fine because she's had a spray tan. Chris said to me, have you noticed she had a spray tan? I said, I thought she was just dirty. I thought she'd woken up late and I'd had a wash. So obviously not a very good spray tan. But but look, be careful because that can be draining against her. Do you know what I'd do is I'd make this one, I'd make, I'd make the pussy bow out of a different colour. Look, that's nice though, isn't it? Okay, $2.99. Then I've got, now this is gorgeous. Oh, do you know, well, first of all, let me show you this side, first of all. How lovely is this? Uh, is this new? I've not seen this one. Oh, this is beautiful. But the other side of this, look, the other side's got a lovely sheen to it as well. But this is the right side, obviously. $5.99, silky decorative paisley. Oh, it has been on before. I've never seen it. Yeah, Vicky did this one. Oh, isn't that lovely? Imagine that blouse in this. That blouse in this. Five ninety nine, half a metre. Beautiful. Two more. Two more to it. Now this one's got a strange name. I seem to remember. Look, isn't that? I think that's lovely. That's really elegant, isn't it? That fabric. Navy eye cat style, no idea. Lightweight fabric, four foot tone. It's like a tie dye almost, isn't it, or something like that? Uh, now it's 100% polyester, I'm guessing. Uh, let me hold this one up because you're not seeing that one to its best. Look, 150 white, beautiful drape. But oh look, it's nice, isn't it? I like that. 4.49 for half a meter. Then two more fabrics, then we'll get on with the sewing. Dalmatian. It's not called Dalmatian. Oh, that's got a beautiful... Oh, it's a black leopard. Silly me. Um, I'd say more Frisian cow than leopard, wouldn't you? 4.49. Hannah would like this, but she's frightened that'll put you all off buying it. Do you know what? Look nice, Hannah. If you made... You know that dress you wear that comes open at the, when you're waiting at the bus stop? That wraparound dress would be nice in this. Well, no, it used to be a wraparound skirt. Now it's just an open blouse. Won't do up, down. The, anyway, we won't go there. Yeah, four foot two. Nothing to do with not ironing it. Oh, and then now I've, I've definitely seen this before. This is a favourite of mine. This one. This is lovely. This has got lovely weight to it. This one. Oh, now I've got more of this one. That's obviously a metre that I've got of this one. Now this, you might not be able to see it till you get look. Midnight Martina. That famous animal called Martina. It's a crepe de chine, this. Beautiful, beautiful crepe de chine. 5 99 for half a metre. This obviously is the piece I've got here is a metre. Isn't that lovely? Right, let's go and do some sewing. Uh, could you ask Chris to come and tidy those um, fabrics up? Because I've made a right old miss. I've got them, I've got them. Whoa. Here she is. How are you doing? Lovely to see Lovely you. Lovely to see you too. I know I've got my trainers on again. Do you not bring posh shoes with well, you? Well, there's no point. They can see them. Yeah, no, but what if I say, oh, just come out here a minute then? Yeah. I did that to CL last week and she was like, I can't come out, I've got trainers on. So she was pointing <laughs> like that across the table. Right. Um, I know we haven't got time to do the whole blouse. Yes. So what are you going to try and show so today? So we're going to go over the, so a bit of, there's a tiny bit of like pattern manipulation initially. So yes. we're going to go over that quickly in case that puts people off. Um, we're going to do this wee section. Okay, the V-neck. This wee V-neck here. We'll quickly go over putting this bit on, a little bit of gathering to ease a sleeve in. And how many days are you staying? Well, I've, it's all pretty it's much all pretty pre done good. and the elastic sleeves. Just talk to me first of all about the book. First of all, the book that, that's got £25 written on the back and we're doing it for 19 99 What a bargain. It's brilliant, isn't it, for uh, having basics to then change a basic into something more glamorous, yeah, as it's it were. a bit like a dressmaking encyclopedia, I think. It's got loads in it, loads of transferable skills that you could then go into even your existing pattern at home and be like, do you know what, I'm going to change that neckline because I know how to do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me in there. So it's nice that it's got pattern in it as well. A lot of these books just have we just tell you all the different bits and bobs. Yeah, and I'm like just going to look because people, I know the first question people ask is what size do the patterns go up to? So I'll need to look while you're chatting. Yeah, okay. I might look through that. Uh, the okay. th do you say 30 different projects in here? There you go, 24. Oh, oh size no. 24. Size 24. Yeah. It goes from a 6 to a 24. 
That's okay. good, isn't it? Six to twenty-four, it goes on to. Right, yep, okay. This one's a twelve, so the sizing looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. It is like looks like. Well, the thing is, Alison. Alison, this is what Alison does for a living. She makes things like this all the time, so she'll know. So it looks like a good, good sizing. Right. So okay. where? What are you going to start? So with? I'm going to start with the patterns first of all, just because there's a couple of different bits and pieces that you have to excuse these patterns. I didn't want to iron them in case all, all my tape came off, but they've oh, been. Oh, okay. In, Don't you know, worry. They've travelled far with me in my right. suitcase. Right, so first thing that the, the book tells you to do is um, it tells you that you have to find the centre back. All right, Hank, so did you, you printed yours up from the PDF, didn't yeah. you? So you didn't draw, you can draw them on scale paper if you want, but why bother if you can print them up on a, as a yeah, PDF? Yeah, I mean, don't be afraid of PDFs because it's just like a big jigsaw. You print it out on your normal uh, printer at home and then you literally just stick them all together and then cut it out. Um, Emma Bradford, who's a, one of our quilting ladies, she makes all her own dresses and all of her patterns are PDF patterns yeah. that she just prints off, loves it, and then just keeps making them yeah. over and over again. So now, what you do, I was trying to explain it earlier, so what you do is as a basic blair or a basic top pattern, mm -hmm that you print out, mm -hmm. and then for each of those different styles, you follow different instructions to adapt it to the other blouse, yes, don't you? Yes, exactly. Right. Okay. So because the uh, original blouse actually has a zip down the back, right. we have to get rid of the seam allowance because we want to cut it on fold. So, um, and the only thing that might throw people off is this is actually curved a little bit here. So right. you, you just have to find a straight line. It's 1.5 centimetres in from a straight edge up here. And then just using a, one of the, your rulers, your grading set square type thing, just draw a line down there. And I, you can cut it off. I just folded it so that I could unfold it to show you. OK, what perfect. I was doing. So yeah. that's the first thing that you need to do. And then <coughs> a little bit of, they want you to change the neckline to make the neckline a little bit Okay, now we, you and I are both pattern cutters, so yes. we, this is, comes to second nature. Yes. To somebody who's never done it before, is, is this well explained in the book? It's well explained. It's not a difficult thing to do, to yeah. be honest. I mean, it's a bit of a freehand curve that you're drawing in there, which can sometimes freak people out, but then you can use, if you've got the, you know, the curvy edge of one of your rulers. Oh, yes, 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 um, yes. Did the devil put them in? Did they come in? Oh, okay, we'll get them for you, we'll yeah. get them for you. Well, you've had them on the show before as well, yeah. haven't you? As long as this point here is a right angle so that you don't end up with an accidental weakening. Of oh, yes, oh, the amount of times when I first started and you'd, you'd draw it uh, and you'd kind of think, oh, that'd be a nice shape. And then when you actually cut it, it ends up yeah. having a V in Nightmare. the bottom of it. You want yeah. that bit to be straight. Um, so but yeah, it tells you how to do this and it's, it's that wee bit that I've taken off, so it's not even that much. So what's that line you've drawn on there? The so they, they talk about a seam line, which is your stitching line, right? Um, which is the one that you, you draw and then and then um, that's your seam allowance on there. Allowance you see, because when I draw five. patterns, I never draw a seam allowance on nah, my pattern. Just put it in later or, or put it on and, and cut round it round it. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's too. what sometimes from commercial patterns I get confused about. Yeah. So that's your stitching, that's line, your stitching line, and that's your that's new you, seam allowance that's line. That's when you're cutting line, yeah. Yeah, cutting yeah. line, yeah. Okay, good. And then there's one more thing on the sleeve, which you'll need a bit of pattern paper for. Oh, okay. They just ask you to um, extend the sleeve out by six centimetres at either side. Okay, oh, so we're making it into a, like almost a gathered yeah. bell sleeve. So you're just we? putting uh, more volume on the bottom so that it comes in. So this is, this is the pattern you da this is yes. the pattern that you get in your PDF. Yes, that's And all right. we're doing is adding a piece of paper behind to make it go wider. Exactly, and then just free, freestyling this wee line in. Yep. Like that, and that's that. Okay, perfect. So now, I noticed as well that there's a dart on here. Yes. Could you, would it make any effect, because I was just thinking on that gold and silver satin, it's fine on the Georgette, yeah. but on the, on the silver and gold satin, it, if, you, if you make a mistake, then it can look quite, mm. I, 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 we said earlier you might be able to take it out, but I actually quite like it, like yeah. it in there. So when you're doing the dart on the silver and the gold, please be careful, that's what I was going to say, get rid of the dart, but don't get rid of the dart. Yeah, at we've all. changed our mind about Thank that. Christopher. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher. Thank you. Right, so home. Oh, we've got rulers. These are the rulers. I'll show you them again later because we need to get on the phone. These are the rulers. I I'll get Hannah to run them through. Those are the two rulers that um, Jenny was just talking about, the French curve or the dressmaking ruler there. Right, so okay. we are now doing, the first thing we're going to show up after the pattern is moving on to the neckline, isn't yes. it? Yes, so the, the pattern also tells you when you cut your new neckline to go down 16 centimetres and make a wee mark on the pattern. Okay. So that's where you cut down to. You see, this is where people are going to be frightened, isn't yes. it? Yes. So... Oops. So this is the bit we're doing here. 
So on the pattern, oh, it's cut on the fold, the there's, mm -hmm. no, there's no seam. So you've cut that on the fold, you're actually going to cut, cut into the fabric. straight into mm -hmm. the fabric. I think you? it tells you actually to stitch uh, a wee V, first of all. Oh, okay. I didn't do that, I just cut it because I thought my eye cutting is going to be straighter than, I mean, you could chalk it in, I suppose, I just cut it. Okay. Maybe follow the book's instructions, just yeah. in case. Um, and then I have already stitched a little bit of this on, just for time's sake, so I'll yeah, take some pins out. Okay, so I have started on my wrong side. So I've stitched my, you know, you have to cut this little bit of So this is the right side here? That's the right side, yes. What's that? Is that a bias or is that, that is straight? A, that's a bias cut, okay. three strip. And um, I cut mine longer than I needed it, so it's um, 40 by do, four centimetres, yeah. that strip. The book tells you to cut a, a bias strip that's four centimetres. Um, and then I'm just stitching quite close to the the edge yeah. here, so I'm about, I'm probably about four, three, four mil in, <coughs> all the way around. And the only bit that gets tricky really is here, at this bit. And you have to go even closer to the edge at that point. Okay, is that is that um, reinforced later on? Only, I only think that when you sew so close to the edge of a fabric. Well, we stitch over it again. Oh yes, of later. course we do. Of so course we do. that'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. And then it gets stitched again, so there won't yeah. be any pulling no, no, on that, it that's at all. Good, that's so good. Because uh, I always think it's a bit frightening a when you do. You're going down quite close, and then you go right. And at the end, you don't do a point. Did you go across and then up again, or did you go to a I point? I actually did do a point. Oh, okay. You could do, you could yeah. Go across. That's what you could do with the short yeah, 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 you could. Um, and then what you're doing is you are folding this in, just like you would with bias binding. Really, yeah. I'm kind of folding it in and then folding it over again to cover the stitching so that you end up with. Okay, and then did you hand stitch it in or did you machine no, it in? No, I did it in the machine, so... So, so your binding is going to show... Does your binding show on the actual outside of the blouse? Yes, yes, but one, it's one over the other, so it's like... So that bit's stitched there, so the idea is that it's kind of... Oh, okay, okay. Like that, I mean, yeah. unless you tie that really tight, that's not that's not going to be hidden. No, but, no. Um, so I'll just pin this back yeah, in again, course. and we can do a wee stitch. So just folding it over. These fat fabrics are brand new. Georgette can be difficult to work with, can't it? But you came in saying this is quite a it's nice one to work with. It's not too bad. Yeah. It's not as bad as um, if it was a chiffon or something, mm. then that can be tricky because it's see-through. But because you can't see through this, I think you can get away with with more, you don't have to do French seams. No, but it doesn't, it does, oh yes, because if you, if this was made a chiffon, you need to, you'd, you'd need to do a French seam. Yeah, because you'd be able to um, see through But it. also, sometimes the silky satin polyester moves so much mm -hmm. more. This, this is going to move, but nowhere near as much as those. It does shift a little <clears> bit, <throat> but I sometimes think, um, the more kind of difficult the fabrics are, the nicer the end result, so yes. it's worth it. Just oh, take yeah, your no, time. Oh yeah, no, no, totally. Um, and it's so nice and drapey. I love a drapey fabric. Yeah. Looks uh, nice and expensive. Also, it hides some. It looks nice and expensive and hides some multitude of seams. Absolutely. Well. Um, Just so you know, the scattered florals are about to sell out. <coughs> you know, the teal and the brick red one. They're about to sell out. Okay, so this last wee bit, and then we'll run it through the machine. So. So now, did you just use a normal foot to sew this with? Yeah. A normal needle and a normal, normal foot. foot normal Fine needle. needle. Yes, I changed my needle, so normally I'll just jump on my machine and go for it, but uh, I changed the needle to a new needle just to make sure that it yeah. worked, because you can catch sometimes this fabric. So yeah, a nice fine one yeah. and a new one as well. But just a normal straight stitch, and I'm going to stitch quite close to the edge. Do to hold? Yeah, please, that weight's just totally yeah. pulling it. Nothing like top stitching this close to the edge on live telly. No, it? exactly. That's why I'm staying quiet because <laughs> I don't want to put you off. I was just about to actually feel your frock because the fabric of your frock's really lovely as well. It's a scuba. And then I thought, oh, no, I won't put her off. <laughs> Yeah, big fan of the scuba. We've got a bit is that of scuba? scuba? Mm -hmm. It's a scuba crepe. Very so nice. So it's a little bit more textured, yeah. but it behaves like a scuba. You need to get some of that in, I think. Oh, it's very nice. Because that would be beautiful for your next project as yes. well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it would. 
I uh, did want to make one actually for myself, but I just ran out of time to wear because I thought, oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? But yeah, I just didn't have time. Now, I don't want to be rude, but the mod this is the next hour. This is the next, you're talking about the next yes, dress I and am, next yeah. hour. So in an hour's time, uh, Jenny's doing another, a, a really beautiful dress. But now the model looks about six foot ten tall on that. Yeah. And I don't want to be rude, but you're not six no, foot ten tall. I know, but I have to deal with that all the time. Like yeah. patterns are not made for my height. I am five foot and everything. I've got a trench coat. Five foot and everything. Five foot, no. Uh, everything I make, uh, I have it. to take so much off. Um, there was a trench coat I made and I held the pattern up against me before I uh, made it and it was on the it was on the ground it would have trailed on the ground oh my and I thought goodness. I am not that short surely but also you have to be careful being petite because it's not just chopping it off is it it's getting no, the waist in the right place the right and all place, that yeah. Yeah. absolutely okay so that's that bit and then all you have to do is to make sure that this doesn't isn't kind this of is the V curvy. at the front this is the right V so I'm yeah. at the very bottom here you you're just kind of folding it in half, and then from the inside, we're going to do a wee stitch on the bias binding. So I'll turn it out, and you can see exactly what I mean. And where does where do you ask exactly where? Because this is the, now the inside. You see the binding is sticking up on the inside. Are you just going to do like you do on a shirt cuff? You're just going to do um, a little chevron yep. in there. I'm, I'm actually just going to do. You could oh, do straight. I'm just going to go straight. The book okay. tells you to do straight. Okay. Maybe a chevron would work better. No, no, no. Because only when you do these, it's the same as this here, isn't it? Oh no, they've done a straight one. On, oh straight. no, this is like, this one's slightly different. Um, but normally yeah, it's the same idea. The book's quite good because it tells you, um, so it's got the pattern, all the instructions, and then it'll say, go to this page and check this out, and then it'll tell you how to do it. So it goes into quite a lot of depth. With oh, the, so what you need to do is before you start working on the pattern, is read it thoroughly because it's going to say, go to page 86 to check the cuff, yeah. go to page 97 to check the collar, go to page 124 to check yes. this. So do all of that before you actually start it. Yeah, and even just have, the, you know, those little sticky things that you put in books on the pages so you can just keep jumping back and forward. Like post-it notes? Yeah, like tiny little, you get little ones, don't you, that are can page you? holders or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. just thin post-it notes, basically. So yeah, I just cut up a post-it note, me. Yeah, well, that's fine too. So there... That just gives it a bit more. Nice. It just makes it behave itself a little bit more. Now, ironing. It's hundred percent polyester. Shows you. Was it all right to iron? It was fine to iron. Yeah. Actually, cool. I, I just had a, a test bit first. Yeah. I think it was on a medium. The two dots. Two dots. Mm. Two dots. Okay. But yeah, definitely test it out first because yeah. I don't want anybody. Okay, so we've done that so neckline bit. bit. Done. What are you going to go on to next? The next bit is the neck band. So the neck band is. Oh. Oh dear. So, fellow, so that's all of this. Yeah. Going round here, from the centre back there, right the way round, and then it turns into the pushy bow as well. That's not separate, is it? That's all one. That is all one piece. So the book tells you to cut two strips of fabric that are a metre by 20, I think. Is that 20? 15, maybe? I don't 15. work in centimetres. So I have oh, no okay. idea. It tells you what size to cut, yeah, okay. anyway. But so you've you got two basically bits. two really long strips. Two long strips, yep. and uh, you stitch them together, so right sides together. But the only thing about not having a right side is it's the, it's easy to make a mistake because it's not an obvious right side and wrong side, you know? I was going to say, so uh, would you have kept your fabric marked with the right side and the wrong side until the minute you come to sew them together? Uh, yes, I would. And you just have to keep double checking. I think was it Jen on the Sewn Bee had wee stickers that she was sticking on her wrong side oh, okay. of fabric, which I thought was a really nice idea mm -hmm. um, and easy to to see. But yeah, so just be aware of that. Obviously, yeah. it's a bit tricky. Okay, so this is going right sides together. So okay, so you've got a centre back seam in your tie, but yep. there's no centre back seam in your blouse. No, there's not. But you can find it just by folding it in half. Yeah. So. Gotta be. Match that up. And I'm going to open my seam allowance as well. Did you just leave your edges raw inside no, this? No, they're not raw. So the, what it asks you to do is to stitch it together, first of all, and then do a really small zigzag. Oh, OK. Um, You've got an overlock. You could do an overlock. You could you? do an overlocker, yeah. yeah. I did this all on the sewing machine just uh, to see how it was, and yeah. that's fine. And also, I couldn't be bothered changing my thread and my uh, overlocker to blue. It was white. Oh, didn't take her long, did it? <laughs> so we go week one, <laughs> week three. Oh, couldn't be bothered changing. I it. know, sorry. But also, it's good to know that you can make this without an overlocker. Yeah, no, 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 exactly. You can just... But if you haven't got an overlocker, got an overlocker. A deal coming up later. Britannia 
and a cover stitch machine. And a new boy called, well, he's not a boy, a man called Neil. They're all boys, though, aren't they? <laughs> it's coming out. So this just gets penned on. And we'll stitch around. So now you're stitching a straight, this is on the straight of grain, is it? This, this? this is straight, yeah. yes. So you're stitching a straight of grain onto a curve. That's right. But it's not that much of a no, curve, is it? No, it's not that much of a curve. And the fabric kind of, you can mould it, make it do what you want. So yeah. it's not too bad. And any extra bits like this, just cut them off. <laughs> That's my extra uh, binding. Yeah. Better to have too much than too little. Yeah. Okay. Couple more pins in here. And what seam allowance does she use? She uses 1.5 and then she gets you to trim it. Okay. Okay, let's just. Do you do your own patterns yet? Uh, oh, work in progress. Oh, John. <laughs> sorry. No, no, not at all. Yeah, we're we're looking into it. Excellent. Maybe I'll do ones for short people. So that when I can uh, finally. Petite, we call yeah. it. Petite, not short. I mean, <laughs> she can short, say so it because she's fine. short, but no. Imagine going to a fitting. Oh, you're short. <laughs> I don't mind, that doesn't offend me. I don't. I quite like being wee, I've got wee feet as well, so I can buy kids tax-free shoes, which is nice. Um, we used to have a girl working here called Amy before you joined us, and she was on, working on floor. And she was very, very, she was even more petite than you, right? And when we made some children's clothes, we made a jacket for a six-year-old, and it fitted her perfectly. Wow. But apparently, she's friends with Hannah, and they go out partying and everything. On her nights out, people just walk up and go, oh, God, aren't you short? How short Openly is she? to her face, not like, like oh look at her, the short one. <laughs> they go up to her and say, because she's so teeny. Oh, really? And what do you get, Hannah, then, in from the same people? <laughs> Hannah just gets that's an unusual dress. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So Hannah was at the bus stop in her village the other day. The same village that Joe Lysett lives in, we need to tell you. And um, a lady came up to her at the bus stop and said, You're the most beautiful lady at this bus stop. Oh, it's a man! I was a man, I, and he was very drunk. But she said, and Hannah took it, she said, I'll take that compliment yeah. from you, thank you. <laughs> oh, and then turned to all the other ladies in the bus stop, went, I'm ever so sorry, but she's prettier than you are. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we've got a situation What's the here, here, John. Oh, we've got a situation. I've stitched something together that oh, shouldn't have. Oh, no. got a quick and big. Do we have an on picker? Uh, oh, it's the one in the machine. I might have one. You got one? Uh, just as well, because the one after no. this is gone. Have I you not got one? I don't, but I like to see What's happened? Just, we're just we're not, not trying to make you... I've just stitched a wee bit together. Because this fabric is so fine, it's hard to know if I'm yeah. stitching through 10 layers of fabric or two. Currently stitching through 10. Do you want me to go and do... But do you want me to, I've got to do a recap. Yeah. Do you want me to go and go do a recap? It. And then go I'll come it, back I'll to get, you. I'll get this sorted. And we'll get... Chris will get to get your proper and pick out. Right, OK. Very quickly. Yep. Book by Alison Smith. Just making, just called Just Making, the complete step by step guide. Uh, fabric patterns, garments, alter, customize. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, excuse me. No, no, but look, look, oh, there, look, look. I'm only saying, I'm only saying, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but. I've said it now, it's too late. I've just pointed, haven't I? Sorry, Chris is telling me to shut up. Right, okay, very quickly, the fabriques, which are very, very, very popular. The red Georgette, 100% polyester. Gorgeous, which is the one that the, the original blouse was made out of. Scarlet. It's a beautiful colour, that, isn't it? 150 centimetres wide, 3.99, 100% polyester. Georgette. Gorgeous. Then the royal blue. Oh, hang on, let me try and fold it up neatly so Chris doesn't got to come and do it again. Then I've got the royal blue. You look at the royal blue while I'm doing that. I'll put it there. Royal blue. Oh, sorry, that looks awful. Sorry, I shouldn't do that. Yeah, that's the royal blue. Now, I'll tell you what I missed yesterday. Somebody I used to work with called Kieran, who's the biggest blagger in the world, right? Um, was on a TV show yesterday, yeah, as a gem expert, wearing one of my shirts. Well, well not one of my shirts, just copied my shirts, right? Uh, look, Cerise, like Sid Cerise. Not at all, Cerise, not Cerise. 3 99 for half a metre. Those are very, very popular. Now, as I said, the ones with flowers have sold out. The ones with flowers have sold out, so I've then got gold polyester satin.
Yeah, I knew the gold would be more popular than the silver. I knew that all along. I would use, I have to say, this is me being totally honest, I'd use that to line like a black velvet coat or something like that, be beautiful. 2.99, yeah, posh lining, 2.99. Right, then I've got it in the silver, again, use this as a lining. Oh, what's the matter, Chris? Yes, thank you very much. Um, that's the silver. If you're gonna make the blouse as this, please be careful, because that color next to your skin can be very, very draining. Oh. Sniff. 100% polyester satin. It's really weird because I was watching yesterday, I was watching the show yesterday with Victoria Pete, and then went to a break and it was me doing a voiceover and an advert. And it was obviously when I had re well, well, it was, no, it wasn't the Bolts one. It was that one bad as well. It was one, and I, I, I remember they wouldn't let me do, obviously do voiceovers when my voice was really, really bad. It was only when it was getting better and it sounded horrendous. This is beautiful. Isn't that nice? Silky decorative paisley, lightweight polyester. $5.99. That is beautiful, that print, isn't it? Look at the sheen on there. Right, now this is fast becoming my favourite. Yes. It's unusual because I wouldn't normally go for something like that, but I think that's lovely. So this one is called your navy iCat style. Four pounds and 49 pence for half a metre. That's 100% polyester again. Oh, iCat is a, a dyeing technique, not a technique that's dying out, one about dyeing fabric in Indonesia. And then I've got this one, the Frisian. No, it's not Frisian, it's Black Leopard. No, it isn't, it's a Puma. I can't remember what it's called now. Oh, is this Black Leopard? Four pounds and 49 pence for half a metre, 100% polyester. It's nice, that one's very silky, that one, heavyweight silky, nice. And then last but not least, this is nice, this one. We love this one. This one's got a real luxury feel to it, this one. You can you imagine that moving, can't you, in this gentle breeze? Midnight Martina spot, crepe de chine, animal print. What animal? We don't know. But it's 5.99 for half a metre. Okay, carrying on, carrying on with the neck. We're carrying on with the neck. I'll take the book back. Right. Okay, so now, what I good. need to ask you is, when you got, so you were sewing it round the back of the neck, but then you'll have got to I this. I just caught a bit of the No, 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 I'm not asking what you did wrong. Okay. No, no, no. What I was meant was, <laughs> you, when you've got this, you get to this point here, mm -hmm. how do you then carry on from there? How did you? You just stop at that point. Oh, you stop? So you stop there, yeah. Right. And then I will, uh, I'll show you this okay, bit in a second. So, what you do, yeah, stop sewing at that point. Right. And then this gets... Let me just show, let me just show you there. So that's the edge of the, that's the neck, that's the V-neck bit there that you've just sewn. So you sew that and that, right sides together, two there, and then you just stop. So the rest of the neck band, or the pussy bow, is still loose here. Yes. And then... And then, what I'm doing over here is, this gets folded right sides together, like that. Right. Right stitched sides together. Right sides together. Yeah. This will make sense in one second. Yeah. So you'll stitch, close that end off all the way down here, and then it gets pulled out. Oh, yes. So I should have... So this example. end here, the end at the end of your pussy bow, yep. It's finished. I'll let you carry totally on. Totally finished. Show the one you're doing, yes. yeah. Only need to do one side, don't we? To yep, show how it only works. have to do one side. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Okay, nearly there. There's a little bit of a hand sewing. At the, I left it till the end um, to close up the inside back neckline as well. But that's okay. So then this. It's pulled out to the right side. And it just means all your seam allowance is hidden away. Yes, no yes, yeah, exactly. And tie. also it means there's no bagging out bit that you've had to hand no. stitch up. And it means the end of your tie is completely nice neatly neat. done, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I actually think this tie might be nice if it if it was kind of if this bit was bigger as well. So you could do different shapes. 
Oh, tiny, isn't because it? I like a pussy bow to be a real yeah, pussy bow. Yeah. Whereas this is quite a slender one, yes, isn't it? This is more, I'd fine. say this was more of a kind of, not prim and proper, that's not the word I'm looking for, but you know what I mean, as in a smart version. Yeah, whereas you, you could, could, do a, you could make that wide, much wider and do a big, really big like big jabot big. one, yeah, couldn't you, really? really cool. Or get wider as well as you get to the end. So when you've tied your jabot, you've then got your like ribbon ends at yeah, the end. Exactly, yeah, exactly. I think that would be nice. Anyway, you're getting the point here. But that's where that. you can do your customising later. Okay, so. And then this does need a bit of hand stitching. So that's the inside. Oh, so you hand whip around the back mm -hmm. of the neckline, yes. so the back of the neckline isn't machined yep. down. And then that's, but it's only a short, it's only the neckline, so it's not a, a huge amount of hand sewing, doesn't no, no, take no. very long. So that's your neckline. Okay, sorted. perfect. So then what are we moving on to and now? And then we're going to put the sleeve, sleeve in. Sleeve. So you want to eat, so I have already, for quickness sake, done the under arm seam. Arm seam. And we then want to do, I mean, you have to do this on a lot of, of sleeves where you gather the top to ease it in, to make it so easier now, to put in. So now, are we doing gathering to make a puff ball or are we doing gathering to ease? Gathering to ease. Because because there is a difference, yes. isn't there? Because some sleeves, sleeve heads have a lot of gather, which are going to create that kind of, what's that, yeah. what am I trying to say? What's that yeah. word? Like volume. Yeah, like, like a bit of... Oof. Whereas yes. this, we're only doing the gathering stitch just to get the sleeve yes. head to sit in properly. Yes, exactly. And I normally, when you're gathering, you would do two rows of two. Two. <laughs> Did I go really Scottish there? Yeah. <laughs> just on that one word. <laughs> two. You do two rows of stitching, and then you take the top thread. I've done one row here because I've yeah. been a bit cheeky and I thought... Oh, I'm no, no. Would you, when you were making that then, did you do two? Would you still I do two? I actually did one because... I'll tell you why. So yeah. you usually do two rows because one sometimes snaps and then you have to start again with your gathering. But this fabric is so fine that you can actually get away with doing one. Okay. So that is just a, a straight stitch on a stitch length four. So it's a nice long one now on yours because on some machines a three is like a normal size stitch would go you just wide. take it to its biggest go to its, the widest uh, the longest, longest stitch, stitch yeah. yeah absolutely um i mean that's probably it's almost it's four mil maybe yeah it's quite wide that's why it's called four i suppose yeah, isn't it? yeah probably know. is it? well no no because they're all different aren't they can't say that because i think what they all tend to do is they say oh it's a four mil but then four on one machine is completely yeah. different to a four on another yeah, isn't it that's true so then you're going to take just one thread from the top if you pull the, the top thread and the bottom thread nothing happens right so you're just taking the one thread and then it <coughs> just works like a little drawstring really yeah but how do you know how much to pull in? I normally gather it a wee bit too much and then pull them out. Right. So there's no notches on the pattern to say um, where from and well, to and how much? Well, it's hard to tell people how to, like, you just have to gather it to fit, really. It's yeah. hard to say. Um, and make sure that you gather from one side into the centre and another side into the centre, otherwise you where, can just pull it out. Yeah, exactly. And where did you start? Because you don't take it right the way to the underarm no. seam, do you? I just did it between the notches. So, so there are two notches, notches from where you sew from and to, but the gathering is I. Yeah, yeah got it. Yeah, absolutely. And then, so let's make sure we've got our right sides together here. So I'm just going to turn this inside out. And make sure you've got your, so the, the one notch is the front of the blouse. Yeah. And the two notches is the back. So make mm -hmm. sure you're putting the right sleeve into the right side. So yeah. this will be... The wrong side. 50% <laughs> chance of yeah. being right. And you got it wrong. <laughs> so yeah, there's my one notch, one notch there. I'm just yeah. going to put this inside. In fact, that's the wrong side. Hold on. No, hang on, because you've got right this side. inside out. That's is this thing meant out. to be inside out? Uh, maybe we'll do this. You could do it as long as one of them's inside out. Let's do it this way. Now you'll have confused yourself oh, completely. I know, honestly. But so now this you're. Is, this now is what happens at home, right? So that is. This is right side out. This is wrong side. Yeah. Make sure it is matching. But that will now be that side. Yeah. Isn't it? There we go. Okay, there we are. So you're right all along. Yes, I was right. Probably a so gut instinct, yeah. There we go. No, it wasn't me. Right, hang on a sec, though. So you're now putting Put right sides inside. together. Yes. Right. So it will be right sides together. Sometimes what I do is. I'll turn one of them inside out, I'll put it inside, and then I'll make sure that it's okay, and then sometimes I'll be like, no, that's not right. Pull it out, put it on the other side. It's a okay. bit of kind of trial and error. And then as long as you've got a raw edge, your raw edges together, 
and you can tell that this is right sides together because obviously my, my seams are here. Yeah. So I would pin the bottom of the sleeve first. You mean the, the, uh, the underarm, underarm and your armpit, basically. Yep. Mine should sound not very glamorous. Yep. And then I'm going to pin my, match my notches. That side and my back notch. It's not too difficult to put in this sleeve, actually. No. Um, it doesn't need too much. And then I'll just, I'm just going to pull some of these gathers out a little bit until it fits. Has it got a notch for... It doesn't actually, but I've, I've just found the centre of the sleeve. Right. So I'm going to pin that in and hope that that is the right place. We'll soon see. Okay. So you can see it's not... There's not too many gathers no, actually. It, all no. it does is help you... Stitch Ease it, it in, in which yeah, is exactly, exactly what it's doing, isn't it? And you don't want to sew in any tucks. No. Or gathers or anything. That's the difference, isn't it? With the one that I was talking about, you'd actually sew the gathers in so that you've got that yeah, fullness. That Whereas be... this, you don't want no. to see any, any gathers once no, you you've don't. sewn it in. Okay. How are we for time? Um, is that on show or demo? Eight minutes. Okay. So maybe I'll just stitch this in then. So we've got oof. a bit of time. Will I do yeah, it? Or will we go for So, I mean, that's fine. You just, you just stitch No, no, I'm not going to oof like that. I'm just thinking, like, well, that's brave. You've only got about four pins in there. <laughs> right. Well, we go on to the bottom of the sleeve then. The, yes. The gathered bits, just yeah. so we definitely get that. So literally, you just back. sew around the armhole. So, yeah. Once you know it's right, and once you tried it on, how do you finish the armhole off as well? Is it the same as the seam? Do you exactly zigzag it and trim yep. it down? Yep. So she tells you to zigzag five millimetres from the straight stitching and then just trim it. And okay. it's a wee, it's a wee zigzag. Yes, tiny zigzag. Yeah. Exactly. But make sure before you do any cutting away on a sleeve, put the garment on and try it right. Because if it's if you cut it away, and then put it on and it's pinching, there's nothing you can do about yeah. it really. So, Absolutely. right. So what are we doing now? Okay. The bottom of the sleeve. The yes, the little elasticated bit. <laughs> Next. So this is the bottom of the sleeve here. So that's why the reason you've had to extend the sleeve out is because to make the fullness for the gathers at the bottom of the sleeve so when you did the pattern at the beginning that's yeah, why you made it, it just wider. makes it look better yeah okay so first thing we're doing is we're tucking the raw edge in by about a centimeter or so i'm just going to pin that in so you just now have you finished that raw edge off uh, no, I haven't. It's going to be completely concealed. You could zigzag it. Oh, oh, it's going to be it concealed. Gets, it gets like turned and turned. So have we made the sleeve longer? It is slightly longer. Because I, I only saw 5, the bits going out at the sides. I didn't it's see. 1.5 centimetres okay. longer as well, yeah. yeah. So only ever so slightly. Yeah. Could be awful if you did a normal sleeve length and did this and then it gathers a bit <laughs> halfway up your forearm. Okay. And then you, it tells you to take your elastic. So and just work out, using your own wrist, what size you want it to be. So okay. how much you want it to be gathered. So now, when you put it around your wrist, it shouldn't be tight, should no. it? It should just be the size of yes, your wrist. Yes, because you need to be able to get your hand in and out of it, And when it, you've got obviously. a rock on your finger like exactly. that, you know what I mean? <laughs> and terrible fake tan. That, that's typical. You never go zoom in on my hand this much and look at my fake tan. Oh, God. Oh, I hadn't noticed. I've seen <laughs> Hannah's fake tan. I was looking at the colour of the nails earlier. Aww. Did you do them yourself? Eh, I did, yes. Okay. Elastic. Oh, I've got the elastic. Hang yes. on, I've actually got that. You've Here you go, that. there's the elastic. Now, does it match about the width? Because I, when I looked at this one, I thought that was a bit wide for a cuff, but it doesn't matter, does yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, it does, the only thing is that if you've got wider elastic, you have to, you're going to lose a bit of the length of the sleeve, obviously. Yes, yes, of course, yeah. More. But so I, don't think, I was thinking at the end of a, of a sleeve, you'd have a much narrower one. You yeah. would never put a narrow one in a waist because yeah. the narrower it is, the more it's going to cut yeah. in. So a wider one for the waist, but I was sort of thing. Anyway. It depends if you want to make a bit of a feature out of it, I suppose, like you can go wider. Yeah. And now we're going to fold up again, but we have to make sure that we're leaving a channel enough. For, to fit the elastic in. in. Yeah. So, um, so we're not doing anything crafty we're not sewing the elastic as we're sewing no. the hem we're just no, literally we're making a, a hem big enough 
for the elastic yep, to go through. Yeah, exactly. So this is, looks like it's 2.2 2 centimetres wide, so I'm going to make it about 2.5. Right. Just so we've got a bit of wiggle room there. Mm -hmm. And I actually wondered if you would, you could totally elasticate the bottom as well. It'd be quite cute. See, I wouldn't wear that low. I would either tuck it in yeah. or I'd put a wee something at the bottom to kind of... I would, I don't, yeah. I don't wear loose, loose tops, really. See, I quite like that that flat fin. It depends what you want, though, yeah. doesn't it? Like you say, it depends what exactly. The thing is, that would look nice tucked in as an office. If you have got a meeting at the office or something yes. like that, that tucked in with a really... We one of the smart skirts skirt. out of the book, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? this up. I'm just taking the original pin out and putting it back in again. That's the <coughs> easiest thing to do. Okay. It, it works where this fabric behaves itself because normally it if you too. try and turn up a georgette and then you, as soon as you took that pin out it would normally bounce yeah. back but that seems to be staying it's put, not put too as you're doing bad it. at all. I love the pink one. Nice, it's a nice color, isn't it? Yeah. You were serene. Imagine you've got bright red on. Yeah, I'm just a colour person in general. Yeah. I like any kind of colour. No, I do so. Oh, hang on. I've got a message, got a message have we? Been very quiet message wise today. Oh, hang on. It's not on here. Lorraine has sent in a message. Not, it's not crazy, Lorraine, then. Okay, and what's the message say? I love Jenny's earrings. Aww. After all that, I love Jenny's earrings. <laughs> Yeah, it's not it's not crazy right now because she's not it doesn't live there. Um, <laughs> Do you have somebody that for, that if some, who's who's crazy Lorraine? Crazy Lorraine, no no, she's been with us since day one. She's a viewer and ah, she comes okay. to all the shows. She and I have become uh, really good mates. She, a day can't go by without her making something. And uh, she's quite. She wow. imagine now. Don't take this wrong, Crazy Lorraine, a big bouffanted drag queen with lots of sparkle. She right? sounds amazing. Oh no, she's fantastic. You'll see her at the shows. If you go yeah. to any of the shows, she's all she's going to festival of quilts and things like that. And then she's got a little friend called Chloe, right? Who's little like you are, and they mm -hmm. go everywhere together, do sewing together and everything Aww. like that. And uh, Chloe's brilliant. Chloe's fantastic. Chloe's got seven sewing machines in her sewing room. She not, wow. doesn't do it for a living. It's just a, her hobby and everything. Oh wow! And they, um, Crazy Lorraine goes round to Chloe's and they have sewing days and everything. Oh, that's nice. She sounds great. But she's mad. So she sews every day. Yeah. And when living, she was poorly, she had dream. a bad back. She, she doubled her back out, and the doctor said to her, don't do anything strenuous. So she decided to tidy all her kitchen cupboards, right? Put her back out even more. So oh, she was nice. out flat on her back for weeks and weeks and weeks. And she didn't care about anything else. It was the fact she couldn't do any sewing. Oh, yeah, that would but be amazing. But she likes a holiday. She goes on lots of holidays to, like, um, I want to say Fuengirola, but that's not right. I've oh, only got a couple of minutes, sorry. Okay. Right, so all I've done here... As I've gone round the outside, but I have left yeah. a wee space here. And then you've got this wee nifty... Bodkin? Yeah. Do you know what? I've never used one of these before, and I can't believe... I can't you believe... You get two in the packet. A bit of a game changer, really. Yeah. I just worked out how to use it about five minutes before okay. we came on. So you clip it to, <laughs> you push on, the and tightener then... up. And then, nah, so I use, I... A, use a safety pin, but this yeah. is much better. It's just a posh safety pin, isn't it? Yeah. But, 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 you get two pieces, one nine ten. You get that one that you've just seen Jenny using and the traditional bodkin as well in there. And then you just use that to feed it through. Feed it through, yep. But one and a half minutes. Is there anything else to do after the sleeve? No. Nope. No, that's fine though. Perfect timing. But if you, now, go back to what you said about putting elastic around the bottom, would you then make the hem bigger Yes. To make because yes, there's not really enough to. there to pull in, is there? Or it there? would be short. Sure. Yeah, you'd need to make it a bit wider. I, I didn't mean I didn't mean bigger lengthwise. I yeah. meant bigger widthwise yeah, as well. So to, make it a little bit longer, have a little to bit wider. It, yeah, the whole book's about customising it to be what you want to be. You might make one like this, and then go. Oh, actually, it'd be quite nice. So you just make it longer and slightly wider, just to pull it all in. I think the it's, the book's good because it does tell you a whole load of skills that are totally transferable. Yes. Um, that you can use on all your existing patterns. You know, this is fiddly. This is the fiddliest thing to do. I was going to say this has been the most hassly thing of the whole thing, isn't it? <laughs> but we're nearly there. Okay. And you didn't need to make sure that your elastic isn't twisted yeah. either when you sew. <coughs> but the thing is, because you've made the 
uh, channel almost the same size as the elastic, you're going to see if it's twisted. Sometimes if you put it to a waist one, you can't see that. Yeah, and you get to and the end, sew it together, and you think, oh. You only notice it when you're wearing it, and it's yeah. annoying. Well, I don't wear many elasticated waist skirts <laughs> myself, but yeah, not even. I wouldn't judge. <laughs> okay. And obviously make sure that you don't pull that right through, because yes, yeah. then you're just going to be like... Yeah, no, well, you, if you, when I use safety pins, I use two of safety pin this end in, so it can't come through the other end. Okay. And then you just zigzag that together yes, with the machine. Yes, exactly. So just pull these bits out, overlap them and do a wee zigzag. We've got time for a zigzag? No, I'm going to leave you now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> you're back in an hour? Yes. Now, is it Belleville Sassoon? Yes. Belleville Sassoon. I, I couldn't, I've been thinking, oh, is it, is it? Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I, you'll see it as I pass by. It's a really, it looks like a dancing dress, doesn't it? It's really? a nice swishy dress. It is a swishy dress. Thank you very much indeed. We'll see you in Welcome. an hour. This is the swishy dress she's doing in an hour's time. Swishy, swishy. Swishy, swishy. Right, come on. Book. I'll show you the back. Because that's how much look. See? Uh, excuse me. Du Never been on air before. Never been on air before. Just making book bags. It's full of brilliant, brilliant, brilliant tips. If you are, say, like a lot of ladies come to me and go, oh, I'm a quilter, do some, do, do, well, I'll start again. Lots of people say to me, I'm a quilter, don't do dressmaking. And uh, a brilliant one to start. Or if you did do dressmaking, you want to go back to it, you're thinking, oh, I can't remember what that is. Can't. Full of brilliant techniques. And this is what Alison does for a living. So this is what she does for a living. So £19 and £19. And it's a good big tome. Look at that, all that information. There's years and years. I'm not saying Alison's old, but there's years and years and years and years and years and years and years of experience in that book. £19 and £19. Now, I'm not going to go through all the fabrics, I don't think, because they're all listed on the website underneath me there. Um, they are beautiful. The, 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 the uh, Georgettes are gorgeous. Polyester Georgettes are fabulous. Um, and now, don't forget, in the next hour, halfway through the next hour, I've got Neil, uh, Britannia Sewing Machines. You've not met Neil before. You've not seen Britannia Sewing Machines. Oh, it's not a sewing machine. I've got a cover stitch and I've got an overlocker. You've not seen them before here. But halfway through his show, I've got a Mothering Sunday so special. A baker's dozen, you get. A baker's dozen. Specially cut for today's show. I've got loads, I've got loads, but I have a feeling if we'd put those on pre-order, I imagine they'd all have gone by now. We don't do pre-order here, but you know what I mean? If we do or do pre-order, they would have gone. They would have gone. We have got hundreds of them. They're beautiful. That rainbow of colour is just a delight, isn't it? I know, aren't they just gorgeous? There's orange in there, there's bright orange, there's purples, there's violet, there's pink, uh, aqua. Re that's all coming up halfway through the next hour. So we've got two special Mothering Sundays. Um, um, now, Neil's here. Um, uh, you, you'll meet Neil in a second. Right? If you've got any questions back, I didn't know what a cover stitch was before I came here. So if you've got any questions you've got for him, please, please, please get them in as we're doing the show. And we're doing an overlock as well um, from a company called Britannia, uh, which he'll tell you all about. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you in three from now. I know what you're going to say. Oh, you always cut dressmaking out short. We're not. Don't worry. We'll carry on. We're gonna, Jenny's going to have a full amount, her full amount of sewing time. So don't worry about that because it'll go over into the bolts hour. Don't worry. I'll just have to talk even faster. Jo. And there'll be enough bolts. So don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're not going to let anybody go short today. Very quickly, though, you've already seen look, how many of those blooming fat quarter bundles have flown out the door today. Hundreds, right? Hundreds, right? Uh, this is also another idea for Mothering Sunday gifts, right? Now, you've all seen, you might have all seen this already. New buyers might not have seen it yet. But this, oh, this is the Notions 13-inch rotating cutting mat. Self-healing with all your angles on, with your inch increments and your half-inch increments and everything like that. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. But what's the point of having a cutting board if you don't have... a rot rotary cutter in the same called a blues? Any, like when we said turn called to blue, we meant any, any flavour of blue, any shade of blue. So we've done a deal, well, not a deal, we've done a special deal for you today. Rotating cutting mat and rotary cutter. 
I wonder if we can do this on its own as well. I don't know if we can or not. Not today. Not today, I'm being told very aggressively down here. Not today, John. Don't mention that today. Uh, have a look. Three, two, one. Uh, saving five pounds. You're saving five pounds. Now you get the rotating cutting mat. And you get the rotary cutter. Saving five pounds. Saving five. Now, you know, just get the rotary cutter. You get five blades with it as well. You. Chris will explain in a minute. £27.98. £27.98. You get the 13 inch rotating cutting mat. And you get the rotary cutter. And you get five blades. You're saving five pounds. £27.98. pence. Right, very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Da 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 Demo, well, there's only enough time to do a very quick demo because um, I don't want Jenny shouting at me. Right, rotary cutter, little lock button. There you go, on, uh, that locks on, locks off. 45 millimeter, handle, serrated bit. Ready? Straight through that fabric. See how I went that through, like a knife through, no, hot knife through soft butter. What's it called? What's the saying? Anyway, it does that. It does that. It does that. Plus lock. You get five, five blades. You get five blades as well. I'm sure that's, that is 45 millimetre, isn't it? Yeah, 45 millimetre. It's a little bit small. That's what they all say. Here we go. Look. So you get that, 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 that. You don't get, the, you don't get that fabric. And the mat. Here you go. £27.98, pounds pence, all of that, saving £5. Pounds. These, this has never been seen before. Brand, you've seen this. We've sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. But, special deal today. <clears throat> Buy both, you're saving £5. Pounds. £27.98. Pounds pence. I'm not cutting again. I haven't got time. Keep going through. Lots of you there. Lots of you there. Keep going through. Don't worry, Jenny will get a full amount of time. So in court, you know notions. We went to um, leading experts within the industry to ask them what they wanted. Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-eight pence. Oh, I don't know who Hannah's chatting away to upstairs. She's having like a tea party. Oh, it's herself. Twenty-seven ninety-eight. Oh no, Hannah. She she went to, she went to the fridge, right? She'll go for a meeting. She went to the fridge to eat the cake out of it. The cake's been there. Uh, oh, is it Corey's birthday cake? Uh, that was two weeks ago. Hannah might not make it to the end of the show. Twenty-seven ninety-eight. Buy this before she's Hannah's demise. Let's just put that. So you get the rotating cutting mat and you get the rotary cutter, saving five pounds. Special offer. I think it's only today. I think it's only today, isn't it? This special deal. I don't know. Is it only today, this deal? Oh, we think so. Nobody told us. Nobody tells us anything important like that. Haley just went. You got a deal, John. Go and do it. Deal with it, John. Go and do it. 27, 90, all right, I'm moving on. Keep going through, keep going through. Let me tidy up, because Jenny's coming in now. Right, come with me. How gorgeous is this? Look at the swish. Oh, I'll move, I'll move back. I'll, oh, it's not on wheels, that doesn't, that would help. Right, okay, look. Look at the swish. Look at the swish on that. You can see, now you know, you can see why Jenny wanted to make it, can't you? Because that, last night, she was out clubbing in Birmingham. I saw the pictures. All this, she was doing all this, you know that, um, What's that called? Selfies in the hotel mirror. I saw three different outfits. Right there. Anyway, uh, it's a lovely pattern. It's a really lovely pattern. Gorgeous pattern. Now, it's a Belleville Sassoon. Comes in two different size ranges. Oh, I've got the right way around this time. Six to 14. Six to 14. Now, Jenny will explain during the hour. You don't have to make it exact, because you see they've got bias binding. They've got gauzy bits on there. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. 15.99, that's six to 14. Just the one dimension, the one um, design in there. So that's your six to 14, size is six to 14. Okay, now normally we show you the back of the pack, you'd say it's the second image, it's coming up as the first image today. I think that's because Corey's on holiday, isn't it? Or is he back? Oh, he's back, he's back now, he's back now. Every day's a holiday for Corey though, doesn't he? He's as bad as Hannah, doesn't know where he is half the time. Moving on. Yeah, H Hannah and Corey used to sit next to each other. We've all been moved. We, we have to sit now. We, we've got, well, yeah, they've got people between them. We've got Hannah, opp Hayley opposite us, so we can't mess around. Uh, here's the next one. Same pattern, different size. 14 to 22. 
14, and they're UK sizes, 14 to 22. Vogue, oh, it's by Lorcan Milani for Belleville Sassoon. £14.20. Remember we did a, Bel uh, a Belleville Sassoon dress with um, CL age ago. Remember the crepe dress with the cape? That was very popular. Okay, now I've got some fabrics to show you, some of which are brand new. Some of which are brand spanking new, like this one. Oh, this is nice. You saw this yesterday? Oh, she's going on about the cake still. Oh, Posh Laura ate it yesterday, but then, ooh. I don't think Posh Laura ate cake. Black, orange and red spot stretch fabric on black. Oh, nice polyester. Polyester and spandex mix. Oh, I'm liking that. 145 centimetres wide. <coughs> 7.99 for half a metre. That's nice. Brand new. Brand spanking new today, that one. And that's the one that obviously Jenny's made it out of. Moving on. The next one is brand new as well. This next one is brand new. Now it's white on the background, by the way. Look, it's white background. Right, next one, brand new. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is lovely. We're not making it out of this, though, are we? No, we're not making it out of this one. <sighs> Isn't that a beautiful look? Who? Okay, I don't know what that means. Ivory on navy polka dot, Dipsy. Pontiroma. It's a Pontiroma, this one. What, na what is that the same? Not nationality. I was going to say, what nationality is this fabric? I didn't mean that at all. What composition is this fabric? 96 poly. Four percent, percent, blooming neck. Four percent spandex. 150 centimetres wide. That's nice, that one, isn't it? I like that one. That's very Diane von Furstenberg, isn't it, that one? A friend of mine's there uh, interviewing Diane von Furstenberg at the moment. I haven't been drinking then. Right, very quickly, got purple. I'll shut up in a minute. Picking on me. Just you wait. It's not a threat. Yeah, I've got Chris. Well, I don't, what day is it? Next week, I think it is. Isn't it? Anyway, look. Purple. I've been working with Richard from Liverpool this week. Purple. Back in stock. Purple Ponty Roma. Now, this feels lovely. Are we making it out of that? No, no. Uh, composition? 76 Poly. 19 viscose, five spandex, 150 centimetres wide. Low, it shouldn't be 399. Ponte Roma shouldn't be 399 for half a metre. I think somebody's made a mistake. Uh, yeah, Laura, posh Laura, after eating that cake yesterday. Now, this is a gorgeous colour. Oh, wait, gorgeous colour. Look at this one. <sighs> nice. Back in stock. You see, I'm, mm, well, I'm not going to be one to cause a fuss. Well, I thought it was much more expensive than this, the Ponte Weird. Ponte Roma, 3 99 by half a metre, back in stock. It's a lovely feel. Same composition as the purple. Same width as the purple. Three, oh, that's a lovely colour, isn't it? Oh, yes. Right, now this next one. You've loved this one. We've had this one for a while. I think we must have reordered it because it's like the digital print paintbrush stroke thing oh yeah we've definitely reordered it because the piece i had before used to be a meter and i've only got half a meter of this one stop giving me the meter they stopped me wafting haven't they oh look nice now that was the red one she had wasn't it brush stroke dusk this one we had brush stroke on red didn't we the cl liked uh, anyway this is the dusk scuba 95 percent poly five percent spandex Oh, I've lost you, Hannah. You got cut off. 145 wide. Okay. At uh, 7 99 Now, you like a bit of scuba, don't you? Oh, actually, your dress is made of scuba, isn't it, today? Not this one. She's got an animal print on. Right. Then, oh, this is nice. Oh, now. Now, this one here, this is the one, cashmere where the cashmere brought this in for a cashmere pattern. This is the one that cashmere actually used to make their dress out of, on the pattern cover. Well, now again, you've got a metre. This is a metre, so this would be your £20, wouldn't it, this? <sighs> nice. Look at that print. Again, 95 poly, 5% spandex. About 150 wide. It says 142, but it won't be. Let me have a look. No, that, that's definitely 150 wide, that one. Oh, it's nice, though, isn't it? Look. Is 
Have a look. Look. Nice, right, okay. And then the one that uh, Jenny's actually going to be making her demo out of. And this one that Neil stole. Neil, not our Neil. Well, no, he's our Neil now as well, isn't he? But, you know, not your Neil boss. Neil, cover stitch Neil. This is the one he nicked off her. Uh, Mulberry Blooms, this one's called. 9.49 for half a metre. Same composition as the last one. Beautiful. I'll take one pattern and a dress. Oh, yes, we're all right. We love this dress. It's very nice, isn't it? Swishy. It's Swishy. Quite... It's got a lovely kind of vintage feel to it, hasn't it? Good fun to wear. Yeah, it's quite vintagey. Yeah. So now, yeah, and then we were talking about you making it for yourself earlier, but I can see what you mean. It would have been a bit longer. Yeah, you know. it'd be like a maxi dress on me. Yes. So would we say it was like for a five... Six five seven lady, the pattern's based at. How tall I mean, are you? I'm five foot. Oh, yeah, five six five so. seven. Oh, <laughs> yeah. right. Okay, so I'm sorry we've dug into your time, but That's we promise okay. we'll give you as much sewing as again. Now, That's this is our how to series, remember. Um, what are we going to do in this hour? So, we are going to there's multi kind of panels in this which yes. is quite tricky we're, we're simplifying the pattern a bit okay so um, pattern manipulation sure. yes and uh, we're putting an invisible zip in Invis invisible zip yes yeah. yes and uh, yeah and, and also on the pattern there are there are um you're going to talk all about the fact that on the pattern there's gauze bits there yes. you don't have to have the no. gauze bits in if you don't want to is everything else quite simple and straightforward? Everything though? else pretty simple, yes. Okay. It's a nice pattern. Okay. Let's get on with it then. So first thing to simplify the pattern, there's there's the kind of cut out bit on the on the real one. There's like a little space here. Well like a little keyhole at yes. the front. Um, that can you see can you see that? But oh it's not cut out, it's actually got fabric behind it on the pattern, yes, is it? Yeah. Yes, so yeah, sorry by cut yeah. out. No, 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 that's yeah. fine. Um and I have just Close it up. Filled it in. Yes. So on the pattern, the pattern here actually goes like a curve going in like that. Yes. And because that would be cut on the fold, I'm yeah. presuming, you'd have like a like a tear, not even teardrop shape, like a yeah. skinny ovoid yeah. shape. So you've just got rid of that by putting uh -huh. a piece of pattern paper behind it. And then similar to what we did in the last uh, hour is I folded the seam allowance in because we're going to cut that piece on fold now. There's no reason Oh, so it. originally when she had the hole in it, there was a seam. Yes. But we're cutting it on the yes. fold. So, so there was seam allowance down here and you just folded yes. that away? Yes, uh, there's a centre front line so it's dead easy, okay. you just fold along Perfect. that. So that's a, a little... That's hardly manipulation. That's, no, then, that's it, easy peasy. And then I did start um, putting these pieces together like this, so that we didn't have too many panels oh, to okay. work with. Yes. So I kind of cut these bits out, uh, worked out the seam allowance, put them together and then discovered that they have lining pieces which are... Exactly. Oh, those pieces exactly. So you don't even have to use these pieces at all. Okay, so why would why did they have it in sections? Is this because they had gauze and they had two different fabrics? Was that what they did originally? Uh, yes. So they they had it's because they've got the cutout bits and because we're not doing the cutout bits, they've got where's the front of it? So they've got that that section and that section and we uh, have put of them course. together. What are those two bits? You yeah. can't even see them actually. No, no, no. So, so basic, basic. Oh, and also I suppose where that... Oh no, because that's that seam yeah. that they put binding on, isn't it? So it's nothing to do with the binding. But anyway, so you just simplified it by yes, making it out it. of one fabric and using the line, the bodice, mm -hmm. front bodice lining as your yes. front bodice and, pieces. And back bodice lining as the back oh. piece. So that's a back and that's Oh, a front. okay. So the back would have had cutouts in it yes. and everything as well. So actually piece three, four, is that six, six seven. and seven? You don't need if you want to do the simple Because you one. can use eight or you can ten. Use eight and, and my lining pieces yeah. somewhere. Oh perfect. Because they're exactly the same size. They're exactly the same size. So I went to all that ball and then was like, hmm, I didn't oh. have to do that. Okay. Should so you not check good. first? Yeah, probably should have, but, but there then you go. now we so we haven't lined ours. No, we're not lining it. But they lined their so they've lined theirs because they've got the sheer bits. You have to line them to get rid of the seam allowance, otherwise oh, you can see the seam allowance you do. in the sheer bits. Of course bits. you do, yes. yes. So otherwise you'd have the seam allowance exactly. all going into the... Yeah. So if you're not doing any of the sheer bits, then you don't have don't to line, line it. Perfect. No. Um, actually, I love it. I love it not having sheer... I think that makes it a completely different dress, yeah. not having the sheer bits yeah. in and one that more people will dress, use. Yeah, rather than and you could also have a different colour here if you want. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You yes, can yeah. kind of colour block it, which might be quite nice. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, options. Good to have options. It, it is, is always a bit good to have interesting, options, isn't yeah. it? Okay. Perfect. So first thing then. So that was pattern manipulation, and now we're going <laughs> to oh, and simplifying the pattern. Now what are we moving on to now? Okay. So this is just putting the bodice together. So okay. it's, um, it's fairly straightforward. Match your notches. That is the front piece that we cut and fold that should have. So that's where the, the cutout that's should be. That's where the cutout yeah. was, but we've just got rid of it, so that's Okay, cut and, and did you fussy cut it or did you just cut it wherever? I just cut it wherever, because okay. I thought, I mean, you could fussy cut this fabric, but. Uh, but then you're going to get, if you yeah, start you can't, fussy. No. You can't pattern match no. it, it's too, it's too bonkers. So yeah. um, you're putting these bits together and matching notches. Yeah. And you're just stitching. So the, the pattern has. A circle here. I've just done a wee line. Okay. It wants you to stop sewing at that point. So you're. Uh, to be fair, it's probably about it's about 1.5 away from where's the that, edge. Where's that on there then? Where it's are you on, on the, there? So this piece. So we're we will be here. Oh, so where that's where that Y seam mm -hmm. is almost. Yes. That's where you've got to stop yes. sewing. Yes. So that's okay, where you stop. Um, and this fabric has a bit of stretch, so yep. I'd be using a stretch straight stitch. A stretch straight yep, like, stitch. Yeah, like the lightning bolt one. Yeah, yep. right. So that's Needle. the one I'm using. Um, you could use a ballpoint. Yeah. Yep, or a jersey. You could. Yeah, you could. I don't, do you know what? I change my needle if it's given me problems. Right. So I'll keep the same needle on until it's. So you just stitches. went for a universal, normal, slim needle, on my machine, and then if yeah. it starts playing up, you then, then thought, "Well, better get a ballpoint on it." Yes. Did exactly. you need to change it for a ballpoint? No, nope, I didn't. Okay. So. Because you love this fabric, don't you? I love scuba. I sew with it all the time. Um, it just kind of behaves itself for a stretch fabric, I think. Now, was, are the seams easy to match, or have you got to ease them in? Because it's a curved princess seam, isn't it? Almost. Pretty easy. Okay, I perfect. didn't have any bother at all. Right. And what's the seam allowance? The seam allowance is 1.5 centimetres. Okay. The stretch straight stitch doesn't go fast enough for me. Oh. It's kind of annoying. I'm like, yeah, you want to go up. faster. Yeah, yeah, even at home when I'm in no rush, I'll still be like, come on, <laughs> it's going top speed. There we go, make it a bit faster. Just because it goes back on itself. Yes, of course. Uh, so it takes a bit longer. Yeah, back in the day, when we used to make them, when we were making the costumes for Cats, the musical. Amazing. We only uh, used zigzag stitch in those days, that's all we had. Ah. And was it just one speed? Just like zero fast. to... Fast. No, it was yeah, fast, fast, yeah. Because it was just zigzag, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. I did have... Oh, did I? No, I think you did the speed with how fast you push your pedal down. Ah, OK. Were they industrial machines then? I mean, yeah, the ones I did at home weren't on the dust the ones I did there were. Okay. So, that gives you that. That's giving you your bust shaping, yep. though, isn't it? And I'm just very quickly going to zip up this side yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <coughs> Uh, there's not a different bus size on this pattern, is it? It's just no, one one just size. Because some, some of these patterns have different bus sizes yes, in them, don't they? Yes, they do. Uh, not this one. Or cup this is sizes rather than yeah, bus sizes, yeah. This one's not that. To be fair, if you're using a stretchy fabric, it's not too big a no, deal. Of course anyway. not, no, But then, now this, this um, scuba isn't stretchy like you think. Stretchy fabric. It's quite a stable stretchy it fabric. It is quite it? stable. I mean, here's a bit there if you want to. Yeah, if you look, it's got a bit of. It's only got. A, it's got stretch. So it's nice and comfortable to wear. But it's not. It's not what you think of like, um, you know, really, really, really no. super stretchy. That's why we're putting a zip in as well. Oh, of course, yes, because you wouldn't normally put a zip yeah. in a jersey dress, would you? But I love scuba. I feel like it covers a multitude of sins. It just skims it doesn't over. Fold, it doesn't fold into fold, you mean? Yeah. I think it's just nice fabric. It doesn't crease, which is good. But it also means you can't press it. No. Really, it doesn't behave itself if you try and press it. So is that what you'd say your you use most the scuba it's, my, and it's definitely my current favourite fabric in my studio. But you'll change again, will you soon? Probably. Yeah, Sickle. I went through a, I went through a viscose period where oh, I was no, just I can understand loving that one. a nice drapey viscose, yeah, and no, now I like I'm. Yeah, I like a drapey viscose. Crepe, I love crepe, and the crepe's never 
I've always loved working with crepe and it's kind of one of those that's never gone away really. It's, yeah, it's very classy, isn't yeah. it? Mm. And it's easy to use. Yeah. And if you use a, 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 a good quality crepe, you can press it into all sorts yeah. of wonderful shapes. And I found this really weird because um, we were talking the other day and I saw I'd never done any um, patchwork before. Mm -hmm. And yet the first costume, professional costume I've made was for an opera for the English National, National Opera Studios. And her whole skirt was patchwork and I found the picture, so an um, um, uh, opera scene called uh, Rosamund Dilling, and it was in Il Pagliacci, and she had to wear a cor had to make, make her a corset, and she, which was a structure within itself. But then I had to make this, um, uh, how weird, that it was a patchwork skirt all those years ago, and here I am now yeah. doing patchwork here. But anyway, okay. so front. That's your front pieces, and you may be thinking, oh, that's not right, but remember, we've got that little Other V to go in there, yeah. And your back pieces, they just go together in the same way. So we don't have a cotton fold at the back because we're going to put a zip in the back, obviously. So that's Oh, so has, that has to be cut with the seam allowance, yeah. That has to be cut yeah. with, so that yeah. just gets cut normally. Yeah. Um, and you've also got this. Oh, yeah. that's why there's a, a, a lining at the back, then, because yes. there would have been that gauzy yeah. bit at the back yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. So we are going to... Attach the shoulder, these tiny oh, no. little shoulder seams now. Yeah. Without, without the thingy bit in? Yes. Um, could you not have, I mean, I know it's a nice feature, but could you not have extended, if you didn't want to put even this panel in, mm -hmm. could that pattern piece not have just been extended by the shape of the gusset? You or is there a different have, way of putting would, it together? It's because... So oh, that oh, bit, no, I take that back, yeah. That was in there, so you'd have to make Oh, so a it, when there was a gauzy bit, there was no shoulder seam? No. Got but then, if you wear the bra underneath the it... Yeah, it need to be a strapless bra, I suppose. Yeah, maybe. but... Anyway, oh no, I understand now. I couldn't understand why you hadn't yeah, just filled that bit that in as well, in, but I didn't yeah. realise that went over yeah, the Yeah, well, I didn't shoulder. fill that bit in because then I thought it's just going to turn it into a really simple pattern, whereas yeah. this gives it a little bit of interest. Oh yeah, I no, think. no, no, no. I'm just thinking a bit, somebody wants to run one up. You know, yes. sometimes people go, oh God, I'm going out for dinner tonight and I need a quick frock. Yeah. If you didn't want to put that section in, you could almost cut that in half and add a seam yeah. allowance and have a shoulder seam. Yeah, but that is quite a nice could. feature. I haven't noticed. So this is like a yoke. This bit kind of goes right the way over yeah. the shoulder. Look there, there's no, there's no shoulder seam, no shoulder look. Seam. So that piece goes all the way over there. I hadn't noticed that. Okay, so. Right. For just putting these wee ones together. So tiny little shoulder seam here yes, and here. Yeah. Just going to stitch that. Okay. Yes, people want to know about the dress you're wearing. I knew they would. Oh, okay. So it's a t-shirt. It is a t-shirt. Oh, is it? It was a t-shirt pattern that I amended. Oh. So I, I was actually being facetious. No, it is t <laughs> that's what it is. But it was supposed to be a longer dress with a frill on the bottom. But so I've been trying to wear something that I've made on every show. Oh, okay. And I'm now running out of things to wear. So I'm doing like panic, panic sews like the day before I come down and everything and so I made this what day are we on now two days ago yeah no but it's quite uh, no offense it's, but it's quite simple it's no, not it's, quite short it's the right yeah. length to you but it's quite a simple top isn't it very simple it is literally just a t-shirt pattern I changed the neck neckline so that it's a bit wider and, and uh, obviously I, you see now this is where if you'd worn these proper shoes I could have taken you, you to could, the middle I mean I'm not that bothered I've got trainers on I no, you look really, yeah, actually I quite like your look because it's kind of like <laughs> Young and funky and trendy. Oh, thanks, like Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> and then that's the, the fabric. It's not obviously from here. It's a scuba fabric. Yes, yeah, a scuba. So you could do it out of any of the scubas you've got over there. Yeah. Just to uh, get at any t-shirt pattern. And okay, shoulder seams done. Right. I'm trying to get this to behave itself. So that, yeah, so there okay. you go. Oh, there you hang go. on, twisty, twisty. There you go. Okay. Oops. And then it wants you to... So just, so you get a gist of it at home. Centre front, centre back, centre back. Shoulder seam would be there and there, but obviously then this is the section that originally was gauze, but we're still putting in as yes. another piece. Yes, exactly. So here is the piece. I will just flip this, right, no, right side. No, that's no, just move it as you want nope, to move it. No, that's fine. So the pattern tells you to lay out like this and lay out flat. Well, Did you read the pattern earlier? No. <laughs> and what you have to make sure is that we've got, so again, you've got your two notches on the back 
and one notch on the front. So you just have to put this, place this piece on and match your notches. Right. Because okay. it's, not, it's not symmetrical, is it? It's not symmetrical. There is a very definite front and back. So right sides together. So that piece uh, will be going in there. Oh, now, Andrew's so, never done any sewing in his life. He's going, oh, I think he goes the other way up, actually. Take the oh. notice of him. Take the notice of him. <laughs> right, so I'm going to match this seam, first of all. Where's my notch? There's there. Why do they not match? Because it's the wrong one. The wrong side? Hold on. Oh, OK, hold on. Okay, back piece is that there. Okay, there we go. So this goes in like that. So it's basically you're going right sides together. That's the yeah. right side. I'm having an absolute nightmare today. Why? Just because uh, you were out partying until all those hours. I was hours not. Last night. I've come down here on my own. You still got a party, not your own. Oh no, you can't have your boyfriend touching. I can't, touching. I can't get fiance, any. Fiance, fiance. Oh no, I can't get any sleep before these shows because I'm. I couldn't sleep last night. No. I had three days off from here and I can't sleep the day. Okay, here we go. So, match your wee notches. I'm going to pin this in and then I'll try and kind of explain. Yes. You kind of, it's easier if you've got one in front of you to, so you, if you watch this back when you're actually making yourself one, it You've got one there behind you. Yeah, but like one that's like actually so you can hold it, you know? Okay. So you got to make two to make one. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay, let's match these bits up. Oh no. Oh, there's nothing comes through, that's all right. I thought so. Oh, Anne. What does the scuba fabric feel like? You're both brilliant from Anne in Essex. I'll let you answer that one. Um, so it kind of, do you know, I think it feels like a very, very lightweight wetsuit fabric. You see, that puts people off. I think I know, that puts people it's... off. That puts Hannah off because she immediately goes, oh, I'm going to sweat in it. No, no, you won't, though. It's, it feels really nice. I don't know how, how would you explain that? It's not like rubbery like a wet No, suit. I think, I want to say, if you imagine a satin that stretches, that's what it feels like. But it's not, I, I know what you mean, but it's the fine, it, it, it's not neoprene like your big fat wetsuits. It's yeah. the finest, finest, finest neoprene, if you can imagine. It's kind of squashy. It's what? It's squashy. Squashy, there you go. Yeah. Squashy wetsuit. <laughs> We're selling this, aren't we, Anne? <laughs> Everybody should have a wee shot with scuba. I love it. Well, everybody likes, you know. Oh, I know, but it's, it's just so easy to work with for a, for a stretchy fabric. And it's so flattering. And there's lots of it available now, you know, it's kind of a new issue. The thing, thing, the thing is, I think what a lot of us think, especially a lot of you ladies who are that, like my age, the thing, we're going to think of what stretch fabrics were like when they first came. It's like faux fur. When you, we used mm. to do faux fur fabrics, and it used to be like, now you can't tell the difference between a faux fur and a fur. You know what I mean? Technology has come on so much. It's like, you know, all know that I do pay with shoes and everything. And we have some shoes that go, oh, these are leather. And they go, that's not leather. That's man-made. And you're like, no. So technology and fabric has come on leaps and bounds. Totally this has. feels like a gorgeous, gorgeous Duchess satin that happens to have a stretch to it. That's what it feels like. It's very nice. OK, so that is now in there. That's it. So that's your armhole. That's yes, your neck hole. That's right. Well, what would you call it? Neckline? Ne I don't ne know. Neckline, neck hole. <laughs> there's your centre. There's your. Oh. Back, front. Because there's the rest of Oh, that. yes, because you've got to put another yep. one there. Yeah, yeah, there you yep. go. There you go. So, so that's your centre front. That's your centre back. That's where your shoulder would be. Yes. And then now, this is what would throw me is you've got Y seams here. Where do you? you start? So what I did is I just started with this one and worked my way down. So I stitched that. And that's why the circle's tell you to stop there, so yep. I'll stitch to there. And you have to hit that, that yes. line of stitching dead so on, don't you? Yeah, stop there. And then I would do this one. Starting from, from that. All the way down to yeah. that point. Yeah. And then I'll go from there that way. OK. But don't worry if you miss it a little bit, because you can just go in and fix it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Let's see, because you're bound to do it wrong now. Yeah, I know. That's the way the, way the, the way today's going. going. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, now, I oh, didn't mean that, everybody. Don't be writing in. <laughs> be like, oh, he upset us so oh, much, the I way know. things he said to us. I her. know. I know, pushing, pushing my time back and then being mean, John. Yeah. 
Come on, pay the gold. <laughs> <laughs> no point getting angry with the machine. I know. So you've got a wedding day set yet? Uh, no, we've just bought a house because I said... Oh, instead of? I don't want to pay for everyone's dinner if I don't own a property. Oh, I don't blame you. So, so where have you bought a... Yeah, tell me the address, but where, which um, town? In Bothwell, which is just outside of Glasgow. Hey, where? Where? Bothwell. Bothwell? Yeah. We had a lady messaging from Bothwell earlier. That's probably my mum. Is she called <laughs> Lorraine? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Do you know what? See, when you were saying cl crazy Lorraine, I was like, did John know my mum? Because that uh, sounds exactly like oh my mum. Because <laughs> we have crazy Lorraine, but then Lorraine from Bod Bodwell messaged in, but not in your hour. Yeah. She messaged in, in oh, Neil's hour. Yeah, Neil's she's watching. Hour. I am, she says... Oh, hello, Lorraine. Oh, so Lorraine from Bodwell, so she messaged in, I know that's your mum now. Yeah. Then. Oh, good. Her and the cat. Crazy. Always put Lorraine Bothwell. Always put that on, then we'll know it's you. <laughs> Okay, that's not too bad. You can't be very old, your mum, though, because you're only a wee tot, aren't you, really? I'm not that young. Aren't you? I'm 31. Oh, yeah, that's really old. <laughs> <laughs> I've got another birthday coming up, and you know you get to that kind oh, of age. No, I must be about the same age as your mum, then, or older. Don't nod. I don't know. I don't know how old you are, Jan. 39. <laughs> in telly years. <laughs> Well, I can remember watching you when you were on the telly when I was wee, so you've been on for a while, haven't you? Okay, so you just carry on with that dress there, I'll just wait over here. <laughs> I know the amount of people I meet and they get, like my doctor, right? He said, oh, when I was at uni, we used to watch Beat the Stylist all the time. And I'm like, do you mean when you were at uni? And then other people go, oh, I used to sit with my mum and watch you when I was off, had days off from school. And you're like, not Yeah, that that's exactly what, because that's total nost nostalgia. When I was off school, I'd watch uh, This Morning with my mum. And you'd be on doing your thing. Doing my thing. Well, I haven't been on it now. I mean, I was on it last year, but I haven't been on it regularly since... What year did I start? 2010? When you were a child, then? I did 2000 to 2010. I so went to do one show, and I'd say 10 years. 87. I was born. Seven, eight, 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 eight. Oh, all right. Yeah, do, let's not do the maths. Let's no, not talk. You're, let's a young, not. you're a young teenager, let's put it that way. <laughs> I can kind of feel the seam, so I'm going to see if I've gone far enough. Um, is that, would you, uh, I'm just trying to think of an easier way to do it, because you do have to feel to where you're going, don't yeah. you? Whereas I it, mean, there's not an easier way to do it, really, is there? No, without yeah. taking out, turning around, taking out, turning no, around. No, I don't think so. But as you say, if you do miss, you could just go back yeah. and do it. What the, the awful thing is, if you over, don't, it's best to miss too short than overrun, isn't it? Yeah. Because if you overrun, then Catch it kind it. of, yeah. So is it near Glasgow, did you say? Just outside Glasgow, oh, nice. yes. Uh, a wee house with a garden. Can't wait to have, have a garden. Have you moved in or have you just bought No, oh, we've, yeah, just, got... we've got a move-in date for the end of the month now. <gasps> oh, it's very exciting. Because it's different in Scotland than it is here, the way you buy houses and yeah, things. Yeah, I think it? we can't, what is it, Gazumpin we don't no. have? That doesn't no. happen. And you also have to do prices over. So when yeah. you put a house on the market, we go, oh, we'll put this price on, then people can offer anywhere they like, but you have to go over the price that you pay. Yeah. But then once they've accepted it, that's it. There's no, there's no gazumping. Unless yes. they find something wrong with the house and you can pull out. It's all yes. very strict, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's pretty good. Oh, it's very stressful. House? Three, three bed house nice. with a garden and driveway. Because <gasps> we're in a flat. Do you live now. in a tenement block at the yes, moment? Yes, I do. Well, everyone does that in Glasgow. Oh, yeah. They're I mean, lovely tenement they're so blocks. They're so beautiful. So you'll, beautiful. You'll, you'll be shocked, I think, when you go from the great big rooms of a tenement block into a, your own house. It doesn't make a difference, but... I'm very excited to decorate everywhere. Um, That's what I'm thinking. Are you going to do it yourself? Are you going to make him do it? I think I probably have to do it myself. I'm the, I'm the creative, the creative one. one. Oh, is he the money man then? Uh, well, we're both, both money people. Oh. Mm. <laughs> right. yeah. oh, look, how lovely okay. is that then? That, so if that was a different fabric, that would be beautiful, I wouldn't think it? A, yeah, yeah, a contrast would look really nice there. Okay, perfect. I actually think the purple and the, the teal would, look nice, would look nice together. Yeah, together. exactly, yeah. Okay, so same on the other side. Yeah. So we'll very quickly just do the same again. So that's the back. What else have we done? Oh, no, we've got to go into the zip, but we need to do yes. that to put the zip in Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right, all right, we can just slip this in, then we can do the zip and we'll yeah. be fine. So I'll stop and asking I can... you personal questions. That's fine. <laughs> 
So when I come to stay at New Year's Eve, will my room be ready? Yeah, it will be. Okay, that's fine. So then. there you go. That's why we, I thought I well, need to get I've a house so a, John I've got, can um, stay. Sexy Sam Stag do to do first, and then I'll come to you. <laughs> do, do you? So where's that Stag do? New key, ski, uh, water ski. No, what's that called? Surfing, surfing and drinking. Oh. That's what he said, not me. Let's do this quickly. Oh yeah, and I've got the party with Bob Goldorf at the end of uh, September. My, um, the godmother and, uh, hang on, I've got two godchildren, uh, Luciano and Serafina, um, and their mum is obviously Italian, and their dad is Pete Briquette from the Broomtown Rats. So, a kind of, whenever you go into the house, Bob Geldof's just sitting there having a cup of tea at the table and things. Wow. And they've been married for 25 years, so they got married in Positano, so we're all going back oh, to Positano. Lovely. This September for a party on the beach. Oh, Positano is so cute, isn't it? With it's all the... cute, but how expensive is it? Yeah, I know. I know. You're and really... you can't get to it. You have to fly to Naples, then get a cab, a £100 cab. Yeah, we, we were... 100 in... euros, 100 euros. We were in uh, Sorrento mm. near Positano, which is nice too. Food's good. Mm. Wine's good. Oh, no, it's beautiful. Good. It's absolutely okay. beautiful. I'm not going to have a drink with her No, I won't. I'm not drinking. I'm, I'm planning not to drink for the whole year. That won't last, but I'm planning not to drink for the whole year. Have you made it this far? Yeah, New Year's Eve was my oh, last drink. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Are you missing it? No, not really. I tried to give up because I also like lots of sweet things. I love mm. um, coffee and syrup and like mm. a, a soya vanilla latte. I love that. And I'm trying to cut those out and I'm kind of weakened. And whenever I go up to York, to work, hotels above, Costa Coffee scene. I'm like, I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm not mm. going. And then I'm in the queue going, oh, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry to go for He's like, why am I doing this? I don't really want this. Then I love it, you know what I mean? Oh, so that's my weakness that's at the your, moment. Yeah, yeah, that's your vase. And Lem Sips. The last few weeks I've lived on Lem Sips. And not normally, not normally. I'm not addicted to Lem Sips, but the last few weeks I've had that lurgy. Oh, so I've lived on lemon no. and honey and Lem Sips. I've put a bit of weight on, so I'm, I'm blaming oh, the Lem Sips. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> Also, I found out that corn sausages are free on Slimming World. No sins. Well, yeah, but I don't like corn, so I bought the cauldron ones, and I don't know if they are as well. <laughs> They're really nice ones. Is there not a, like a, something you can, you know, type it into an app or something and it'll tell you? Can I get like a barcode I think, scanner thing? I think you thing? have to go to Slimming World oh, to right. do that. I just, yeah, I just, my, my brother and his and Julie's wife were going to Slimwood, so they bought me the vegetarian cookery books. So I'm just doing it on my own. Uh, okay. And instead of joining up, I bought an expensive pair of weighing scales. <laughs> that was my uh, that was my thing. I've got a box check, so I bought these weighing scales now. <laughs> I've still lost weight. I haven't, put, I haven't put it all back on. I've still lost nine pounds, but I'm just kind That's of amazing. like I had got I had got to twelve pounds, so I'm a bit annoyed. <laughs> Shut up. Not you, not you, not you. <laughs> Anna's been going on all day because I didn't have time to do any makeup this morning, so I've come on without any makeup. She's been pretty look lovely, John, like in that really sarcastic manner. You've got a good tan. And uh, well, I, I went, I got on holiday in October, so um, but it's lasted since October. Yeah. I've been on a sunbed or anything, and then you start thinking, oh, have I got jaundice or something like that? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I shouldn't really be this colour. <laughs> not at this time of year. Well, no, no, but I'm not, the rest of me is all brown still, and oh well. Sorry, I'm going to put you off now. No, not at all. <coughs> I'm just jealous. I'd love to be tanned all year round. Oh, it's not all year round, but it has to hang around a lot. Though. I think it's when you get old and you've got elephant skin, so it stays <laughs> brown. <laughs> and no, I've got to go down the fake, fake tan route now, and I'm just not that good at putting it on, to be honest. I but like... you're going to have it sprayed. Yeah. It's quite a lot of effort, that, though. I know. And you've got to stand in a room or something with the paper pants on. No, it's not very it's nice, not. is it? No, it's not very dignified. Uh, when's your next holiday, then? You'll be hun oh, no, now you've got a house. That's honeymoon. Yeah. That's Holidays are out, honeymoon, then. out the window. Well, maybe, I don't know. Well, I'll definitely go on another holiday. I love the sun. I need to go on holiday to keep me sane. Yes. Just don't have it in book check. OK. Right. That's in. So... The next thing, so that I can do the zip, how are we for time? Do, do the zip now, because we are the zip. running short. Okay. So what you would do is you would put the, the skirt on. Yeah, oh, you put um, the skirt on. Oh, yeah, yeah, the skirt, because you'd have to put the skirt on, and then yeah. this goes down by about that much into the skirt. So the skirt... So... There you go, so it just goes a little, yeah. like, about three inches into the skirt section. Yeah. Oh, you got... To... I got the whole skirt there, but that's fine. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry. We'll okay. talk about the skirt if we've got to. Uh, so, 
invisible zip, you need an invisible zip foot. Oh, now I've got some of those. I've got some of those very quickly. Invisible zips. Now I've got one for the category B, which is the D, which is the night. Which one do you want to put in first? Okay, I've got the category D, which is for the 680 onwards, which is a nine millimeter um, width stitch width. 1999. You just have to check what category your machine is here in the call center or look on the website. So if you've got an Elna, it's a 680 upwards is the, as a category D. And then you've got the 570 there, have you? Uh, yes, I yeah, do. Yeah, the 570 is a B or C category, which are these. So you just need different things. It's also... Now, uh, can you make the dress without a concealed zipper foot or do you need it to do the zip? Um, if you're using a concealed zip, I would advise getting because Thank it you. makes That's life easier. Yeah. Um, there are, I mean, there are things you can do like ironing the teeth out, but it just doesn't no, work as no, good and no, it just no, doesn't no, work. No, so really you need, yeah. you need it. Or if you wanted to, you could make it a lot of dresses have a feature of the zip, so they don't yeah. need an, um, but it's, that looks, this looks so beautiful, doesn't it? I'd, I'd invest, it I'd invest. Like and also lots of machines do come with them, but look, look how beautiful that is. You see what I mean? That, you would never know there was a zip down there, would you? So I think a concealed zip, it's worth it if you're going to go down that route. I've got a concealed zip here, is this one you used? 56 yes. centimetre, 22 one. inch. Okay, I'll, you carry on, you carry okay. on, we'll look at your so, zip. So, I mean, your, your concealed zip looks like a normal zip from the, from the wrong side. Yeah, so that's and the side that goes against your body. Yes, yeah. um, and it basically works. You stitch in nice and close to this kind of seam allowance bit of the zip here. These wee teeth roll back and, and disappear inside, so that's how it works. Okay, so now in, re in real life, you'd have put the skirt on. Would you have put the sleeves in as well? Yes, so you would have put the, so you've made the bodice and you'd have got the skirt attached. Mm -hmm. To before you put the zip yes, in. Yes, so okay. this would be one of the last things that yeah. you'd be doing. Um, so with your, when you're putting a zip in, I always think like, well, how do I want it to look? Because people struggle with, oh, I, how, hate I don't know how to put yeah. this in. So you know that you want your puller to be available to you on the outside. Yes. And you want your seam allowance bits here to be hidden away. And I also know on my dress that I want my raw edge to be hidden away. Yes. So if I kind of tuck my raw edge away, and do that, I know that I want it to look like that. that yes. So, that is how I want to sew it in. So I always work it out with the zip closed and then actually sew it in with the zip open. Okay, but what you've, what you've done is you've laid your dress down, put the zip in exactly where you want it to be, looked wise with the fabric turned in, and then you've kind of gone backwards yes. to re, re undo it and yes. know where you've got to sew. Exactly. Because I think the, the big mistake a lot of us make is we sew a zip in thinking it's going in the right way, and then when, you, when your fabric actually turns and everything, you've realised you've put it in yeah. the wrong way around. Yeah. So um, the, because the seam allowance is 1.5, I'm going to come in a little bit from the edge. Okay. And I'm just going to pop, yeah, I'm just going to probably pop one pin in and I'm going to go go for it and keep it. Okay, but now this foot helps you with this though, yes. doesn't it? So this foot has two wee channels underneath. Can you just have a look at that? Okay, and then what goes in that The The channel? teeth go in there and it, what it does is it kind of uncurls the teeth for you so that you can stitch really close to the, the black fabric -y bit of the zip and then when you take it out of the machine and you zip it up, those teeth disappear. So that's, <coughs> okay, that's what so actually doing. making life easier for you. It makes life When you so put your zip foot on, you're in control of how far away you are, but this is doing all that for you, yep. isn't it? So it's a really nice... Oh, now, do you have to move your needle then? Or does uh, your needle no, stay centre, where it is? Centre point. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, but I'm going to put it onto a normal straight stitch. I was going to say, you couldn't put your feather stitch on or no. your stretch stitch, could you, on this? No, because the, the zip doesn't have stretch, so it doesn't matter if you're not using yeah. a stretch stitch. Okay. And this is where scuba's good as well, because if it was a really, really s s slidey, slippy um, jersey, then it would be, you've got a straight going against yes. really, really slippy. exactly. It would be a bit of a nightmare. Okay. So you've lined it up with, oh, that's easy enough. Look. Yeah, so I mean, it's honestly so easy. with the teeth easy. of the zip in the groove. Yep. And you're just stitching a straight line, but it's determining how far away from the teeth you are. Yep. It's dead easy. So it's worth, if you're going to do a lot of zips, the, the, the foot will have paid for itself in no time, really, won't I it? I would very rarely put anything other than an uh, invisible zip or a concealed zip into a garment, because I just don't like the way zips look. I would no. rather... I know that, like, there's a couple of shops that I shop in that do a, they do a lot of, like, feature zips. Yes. 
And I'm just like, God, that would look so much better if you couldn't see that zip. Yeah, well, the thing is, if you dress like this, which has a vintage feel to it, if you suddenly put in a feature zip done that takes away yeah, it's not that funny vintage look. feel, that elegant exactly. feel, doesn't it? And I know sometimes it can look amazing with a feature zip, but it, that depends on what fabric you're using the design. Yeah. Like, I think a bodycon dress looks amazing yeah. with a feature zip, but not something that's got kind of elegant and sophisticated yeah. like this one. Yeah, it has to be an invisible yeah. one, I think. Okay, so... So hang on, in. where was the where was the slider? Oh, no, right now, in when the skirt's on, mm -hmm. you can't go right the way down to the bottom, though, can you? You go down as far as you can go, yeah. And then if you have to, you move the zip up and then go back with. You'd probably have to change to a normal zip foot to do that last bit. Okay. Or I would stitch it in as far as I can go, and then I would sometimes stitch up the actual scuba a little bit. To join it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can do it yeah. that way as well. Because uh, we've just carried on, it wasn't a problem, but yeah. you're going to have to have a skirt attached yeah. down here, right? Yeah. So I always just check my zip out by zipping it up to make sure that it works, because one wee thread in the wrong place means that, that that's not going to work. <coughs> yeah. So that works fine, and you can see that that's going to be completely hidden. That's yeah. going to disappear. So then what I would do when you've got the skirt on, the, if you had anything, um, so if there were any other sidey ways, panel -y bits here, you need to make sure that they match when you zip it up. Oh yes, because there's going to be a seam here, isn't yes. there? Yes, so there would be a seam here, so what I would do is mark the other side, so zip the zip up, and then just mark, I'll just mark where this is for argument's Yeah, 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 yeah. But you'd mark where the see. seam is. Yep. So we mark, and then I would make sure that when I, so I'd put more pins in this side all the way down. Because that's sure that they, got to match, It's got it? to match, otherwise it looks weird. <laughs> you check, double check it before <laughs> she <laughs> turns it round. Yeah, because if you don't match, this seam's going to come in here, and if that seam came in up there or down it's there, it's easy for them it, to and, go And there. also, people are going to notice that. Uh, yeah. I mean, that was such a close-up then, it's just as well that was spot on. <laughs> I know, I made sure. Yeah. Took extra time on that one. Okay. And to work this out again, so to make sure that it's not twisted, I'm kind of doing the same thing again. So I've got my, my raw edge of my scuba. I've got the, my raw edge of my zip. So I always say raw edges together when you're putting a zip in. And I've, uh, my zip is closed, so I'm working it out with my zip closed. Yeah. And then I'm just going to, to make sure it's not twisted or anything, I'm keeping my finger on it. You could pop a pin in if you want. Yeah. Then I'm going to open but it. But as you said, you would put more pins in this one to make sure that yes, your lines match up. to make up, sure that you? it all matches up. Uh, Sylvain in Lancashire. Can you tell me, please, if the scuba fabric frays? The demo is brilliant, and I think I could do this. Thank you from Sylvain. Yes, you definitely could do this. And no, it does not fray, which is another reason yeah. why scuba is a favourite so of mine. So when you make a scuba dress, are none of your seams inside finished off? Eh, no. Uh, no, Tom, <laughs> no. I'm quite bad. But you don't have to. You, you don't could. have to. Because scuba doesn't fray at all. Obviously, if it's going to be an edge where you're going to see something, you want to turn it in, get a cover stitch. But you can do all of that sort of thing. But no, scuba doesn't fray at all. Yeah. I think if I was making something for somebody else, I might run over it, the raw edges with the overlocker just to make it look nicer. But if it's just for me, it's not going to fray. So or I don't mind. You could do pinking shears, couldn't you? Because even though the pinking shears aren't going to stop it fraying, because it's not going to fray. Looks it's nicer. always difficult, isn't it, when somebody turns a dress inside out and they're just raw edges, you're going to yeah. be like, oh, I've paid her to make yeah, this and she hasn't even finished it off. <laughs> exactly. So. But yeah, definitely give it a shot. You'll, you'll not regret having, no, that, so having a go with, with the scuba. Okay. So the other thing that I'm going to do here is I'm still going to start at the top. Right. Um, and the... Invisible zip foot has two channels, one either, a bit like your, your normal zip foot, so you can either stitch on that side of the foot or that side yeah. of the foot, and this is exactly the same. But you don't move the needle, I mean, the needle stays no, where it is. the needle always stays exactly the same place. It's just... Um, oh yeah, invisible and concealed, same thing. Yeah, same sorry, thing. I just called no, them. No, no, it's I, fine. Uh, it's got two minutes left now. Okay. Oh, just less than two minutes, That's the same. That's fine. It's gonna be cold in this, isn't it? It's cold. It's cold in the wee green room as well. I didn't realise how to put yeah. the heating on in there. Oh no, I didn't because I was because we I was late this morning. I didn't get a chance to put it on. Um, who's those? Who's those bowls of fruit in there? There's bowls of fruit over there. Look, and they're Victoria peaches. Left strawberries and grapes and everything in there. <laughs> oh, did you? I need to say a wee hi to my own class because they're in and I think they're watching just now. Don't do it now. Do a close up. Go look into number one. There. Oh, that one. 
Uh, hi guys, I hope you're enjoying your beginner sewing class. I think they're on day three now with Colette and Rosie in the studio. Have you left them? Oh no, I'm not teaching it, clearly. Oh, it's not clearly. like, clearly. there you go, there's some handouts. Good luck, oh. see you later. There's the kettle. No. Do but, do, when they come for class, do you do cake, just buy cake? Uh, sometimes, yeah, we've got a, we do a social class um, on a Friday night and we all get together and just bring our own projects, have tea and cake, very mm. civilised. When did your boyfriend see you then? He works a lot as well, it's fine, oh, it works, it? Out, works out great. That'll be a marriage that lasts then, don't see very much of each other, that'll last. <laughs> yeah, he plays FIFA and I so. He what? He plays FIFA and I so. He's always on that PlayStation. Oh, don't, oh no, no, don't stop this because this morning Chris came in, he's bought a new game, right? We were and talking. I asked him, it's just like the Joby Car Show, they all together on the, and I said the name of one of them, I don't know which one he went, I would never be playing one of those drums, I only play on. And I don't, I've never heard, uh, there's Xbox, PS, something, something else, something else. And apparently you can tell a different kind of person by what game they play, yeah. what machine they play it on. Boys, honestly. Okay. Okay. Oh, Victoria Pete's messaging, yes, they're my fruit. Feel free to wash them for me. Victoria, uh, Victoria there's only three grapes left. <laughs> and the strawberries look like they're all in Tupperware dishes. So, oh, sorry, we'll eat them later, Victoria. Right, sorry. Okay, I've just toasted Oh, wash up the pots, you mean, not wash the fruit. Oh, I'll wash the pots up, yeah. Okay, so here is a common issue. I have unpicked zips before because I've thought I've done them completely wrong. Um, let me just sort this one out. Right, so I'm going to just flip that around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like that there thinking, oh no, I've what's twisted going it. on? But I know I didn't twist it because of the way that I held it yeah, earlier. Yeah. So yeah, don't unpick a zip until you're 100% sure, sure that it's definitely it wrong, yeah. not right. So there we go. Oh. Whoa. Oh, and you almost pattern matched there by accident. Almost. But. So, yeah, you shouldn't be able to see it. And that just looks like a seam. Yes, it says it does. And with the scuba, because scuba is quite bouncy, it really looks like a seam. So you don't top stitch either side, you just no. leave it. I don't top stitch because I think it draws attention to the fact yeah, that no, no, there's a zip in it. And, and, and I then don't you want don't want anyone it to, to see it. it. And they're going, how's she got that yeah. frock on? Can you just, uh, we've run out of time, but can you just get that skirt out just so people mm -hmm. can see the skirt put together? Because it's lots of panels, isn't it, to yes, create that lovely it's shape? Lots of, there we go. Quite a lot of fabric in it, and it's quite a lot of weight. So that I think that's why in the yes. uh, scuba's nice. See, isn't that, that looks like a dancer skirt, doesn't it? That's beautiful. Very quickly, how would you hem yours, your scuba? Um, I would, I would just turn it up and hem it. With a straight stitch or with a, uh, with your feathery stitch? I would just use a straight stitch because oh, there's not. Oh, get yourself be a cover stitch machine. Or, Very well, good. They've sold machine. out now, but we could oh. <laughs> Next time. Yeah, give Neil, give Neil that. He'll, he'll I'll get, run it yeah. off. He must have gone. Uh, right, thank you. When are you in next? Next, in fact, like the same time next month, pretty much. 14th okay, have Sunday. a safe journey home. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Lovely nice to, to see, see you. you. Thank you very much. Oh, hang on. Elizabeth says, Hi guys, love the show. Take you tell me how much fabric in meters I would need to make the oh, in a size 22, as I've never made a dress before. Uh, I'll get Hannah to check for you now. Oh, no, wait, I'll go back and get my glasses. Hannah just went, oh. <laughs> Right, while we're doing that, have a look at the pattern. Size 22, you look at the pattern here. Size 22, um, you'd need, oh, will you concur with me on this? I'd say you need three and a half metres. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, hang on, no, is that yards? Or me? No, that's inches, hang on. Oh, three and a half be more than enough. Three and a half metres is what you need. Three and a half metres is what you need, yeah? Selling half metre increments, so you actually will have a little bit left over because obviously it's not quite, but you have to guide the, th don't buy three, that won't be enough, but three and a half be plenty. Six to 14 first. Yep, yeah. and that, that's the six to 14 then. It's the same pattern, just different sizes. And then that one there is the uh, next size up. Fabric. Right, okay, so, I'll just straight that over there, that one and that one goes there. This is the one that was, the sample was made of, brand new today, it's called red, white and orange spots, I think. Black, orange and red spots, sorry. Oh, now that's a bit wrong, because the spots aren't black. That's that one, then. that's brand new today, brand new today. The, oh, now this is the most popular, the one I said was most like Diane von Furstenberg. How much? 40 units of this have gone. That's brilliant. Oh, it's lovely though, isn't it? Three, we're not surprised at 3.99. Ditsy Ponty Roma. Oh, okay, there's more people got that in their baskets we've got available. We also have the purple back in stock. We said in unison. 
Yeah, here we go. Purple. Come on, graphics, 3.99 for half a metre. Purple. It's funny because we hear clicking with you, but when Mittel pulls on, there's no clicking. No, I think he forgets to click on it, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, don't you? How was he on the other day? Because they all they're all changing roles upstairs. It was Chris and Paul and... Um, oh, no, it was just Chris and Paul upstairs. Wasn't it, I think. Three nights, I think thinking we're in a proper TV studio, you know, where there's a third person. Uh, Teal Ponty Roma, 3.99 half metre, nicely pressed. And then the one that... Uh, the scuba that Jenny was using. This lovely. You want to try scoop for the first time? Nice one to try. Mulberry, I think this is called, isn't it? Mulberry. Mulberry blooms. 9.49 for half a metre. Right, uh, don't go anywhere. We have got fabric on the bolts. When we had this on Black Friday, I can't tell you how busy it was. Be ready on that phone line. We'll see you in five. 